guys welcome welcome to lpq trades it is friday it is friday the 15th options expiration quad witching meaning there's a heck of a, a lot of money uh coming into expiration making a decision today's the last day so the market's going to be volatile anyways first things before we get into anything CFTC rule 441. I know this by heart. It's crazy. US government required disclaimer. I won't read it. It's up at the screen there. It will be up there on our videos. Every time you see our videos, please make sure that you know what you're getting into when you're trading the futures markets or any type of markets. It's required by the federal government. If you know what you're getting into, you know, we display it because of that and we go from there. Anyways, several things to show you this morning. First of all, news. Empire State Manufacturing Index, some oil, but uh, from yesterday, guys, and the day before, and these that we've had, I don't think this is going to make a difference. I think the market is running really good. It's showing a lot of support, and um, and we're here, man. You know, we're here. Fifty percent here just got pushed up uh, right there, right right at fifty percent. That's cool on the Nasdaq. Let me check ES. I'm going to show you a few things. Well, let me adjust because the market did push up. ES didn't make a new high or nothing. Actually, it did in the morning here. Um, I did took this first short here in the one minute. I was setting up and I saw it. It was extended at 9.25 at the time or something. Remember, the range uh, for the night session is 20 most of the time. Okay. Um, so I, I I got I got this one, but I'm setting up and stuff. Usually at eight o'clock, you hear me say, "Oh my God, short!" Oh my God, I did this. Look, MW uh, MW BMW. No, M patterns showing up here. Okay, you're not writing today. What's going on? Break of Mister Middle Leg. You see me drawing stuff all the time. Bam, retest. Remember, it's the inverse of the W retest wham get slammed here it's a gap it needed to fill it almost got there remember it just needs to go halfway or sometimes it touches it and it can come to this little gap here look you start seeing this stuff and you don't have to draw it i draw it for the guys new you know new and stuff like that and that's how you see my charts all crazy just these little gaps in the one minute tends to respect what it went right to the tick. I was on the phone with one of our members, Mr. Tito. Um, and I, I just tell him, look, it's got to get to this gap on this drop. And look, it went right above it, but it can stay down here. It actually is going to come back to that. It should 2275. Why? There's a, uh, I wish you could see it. There's a minus development area literally here. Just went right through it. Might have got a tick in and, 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 Went right through it here at, uh, you know, 530 in the morning on the push. So when you wake up in the morning, at least for us, you'll see the extension on these. A lot of times at 8 o'clock, there's a good trade. I I sometimes I, I can get it. Today I said I, I woke up a little early and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to short this. It's already extended. Got a good short there starting the morning good. Like we were talking about yesterday. It's funny. I really she said, see. Look, look, look where it's going, guys. Rich, Rich, he said, man, you want to start out the morning good. And he referred uh, to it as a sports, a sports kind of example. And I'm like, no, it's like your first date, man. You you go to the door, say, hey, my name is, you know, so-and-so. I'm here to pick you up and I'm on a date, whatever. And she's, the first thing she does is slap you. Bam. I, what was that for? Oh, I don't know. It, it's not going to start off well, right? <laughs> You're going to be like, um, I didn't do nothing. Well, same thing with trading. If you start out in your mind and see that gap fill, Tito, gap fill. My God, dude, that is money right there, man. Anyways, right there, man, you saw the gap fill, boom, gap fill. Okay, now I jobble around in here. There's a, a, a minus development area. There's one below here in 1925. Could it go there? Yeah, I can. Um, anyways, options expirations, guys. If you know the options world or anything about it, it's just bets that they do with price and time. And a lot of money expires. It goes for a certain amount of time. Um, I'm not a, 
you know, analyst and I'm not an A and expert on options. I've got a couple of friends that are, but just a very simple understanding. It's got to be decided today what to do. Either buy, sell, get in here, get out, rebuy, whatever. So I'm expecting, okay, I'm expecting a push down. It can be a radical push down when they're getting out. Um, it did it yesterday. At the start, I told myself today I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna get out of a crazy trade. I was positive, but you know, I was down a minute, man. I just get out. I, I don't I don't hold. Um, I'm not gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wait to 945 for myself. Okay. I'm gonna give you trades, but for me, um, I've already shorted one. I could have shorted this one, but it's just eight o'clock, guys. I can't, I got too much going on. And, and I gotta I can't put up the website. I did it a little early and some members were having problems getting in. So I just had to redo it. So I don't want to do it too early because for whatever reason, it's creepy. You know, there's forces that are against us. Remember <laughs> criminals. Anyways, beautiful short M set up test of the M. Remember, because it drops, it makes a gap. It's got to come and price that in and then it goes. You know, look, right to gap. I was telling uh, my buddy Tito, hey, it's going to come. It has to get to that gap. It has to. It, it cannot leave it open. When it's turning, you know, it's going to seek out these gaps. And all the greens are gaps. You got Richie's levels here, too. Where did it go to? 52.32, the freaking tick. I can't wait for him to get on. It, well, he's seen this so many times. It's crazy. 52.30. Richie gave me this yesterday, man. Yesterday, 52.30, right to the tick, boom. So when you see gaps from yesterday, Richie's level, that's a good. And you see this pattern, Europe extended. At, usually in the morning, it does this at 8 o'clock. Uh, it's extended already 10, but it's probably going to be a good short. You put your stops, make sure you're protected, but it can go to 15 over. You know, But it's already extended at 10. You look at this. Uh, what time was that? This is uh, eight. Or, let's just go eight. Go to your. Uh, some guys look at the RSI. Uh, eight, 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 eight. Right here. If you notice, look. This is divergence. You hear Richie talking about it all the time. Uh, where's my things here? Here we go. Divergence. You got price, 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 price. Where is it? Price. Actually, you know what? No, it followed, it followed it pretty good. You might have had a little divergence here. It's just nighttime. So the night session, price is going up there. I mean, RSI is up per se, and price is kind of, you know what I'm saying? It's not as strong, you know? But I think it followed it. See, MACD is down, price is down. I think it's just a normal. It wasn't a big deal. Okay? It wasn't a big deal. So at least when it comes to that, sometimes you see market pushing up and MACD and RSI staying down. That's when you know you are going up into weakness and vice versa. If the market is going down and you see your MACD and your RSI still up, you're selling into strength and usually guys with bigger players will start buying, buying, buying. Eventually it breaks or it should break to the upside. You got to get protected. But look at that. Spoke, speaking of Tito right before the market, about 15 minutes. And I was like, there's a little gap there. It has to, it has to come down to that. It left a little one here. Now it can, it can come back up to 26. And the bounce and my nifty eight. Oh, my nifty 800 here. Look. NASDAQ is at the 800. Let me see YM. YM is pretty strong. Yes, almost to the 800. It didn't get there. But this NASDAQ works pretty well. Look, right to the 800 EMA. Right to it, too. Boom. Why? These are major averages, meaning these are just averages for price that follows since the inception of the market. So, obviously, right, if your averages are here and market wants to, and it's selling, 200 is a big one. Could have bounced off of that. I know it goes through, goes through the 800. Usually it's a good stopping point for a bounce. So you're looking at your gaps. You're looking at, let me see, NASDAQ had the same thing probably. Like, yeah, look. Look, I'm going to draw it in now. I haven't even drawn it in. 
you come here there's nothing in between the these these this this deal here look nothing in between that right there if you notice there's let me make this bigger i'm sorry i'll explain from wick to wick there's nothing pricing in between these green candles right nothing there's not a black one here there's not there's not another one here it doesn't look like this it was kind of gapped up there came through back to the gap to close to the one prior right this one it didn't close it took off right well check this out man you go back <clears throat> you had that join and just like es look where it got to right to the freaking center of it you're usually 50 percent closes gap look and it wants to go down so es remember it hit this one too now it's going to seek this 1925 this trade right here is a walmart trade meaning go to walmart you're done for the day look man richie's 21 may get a job all up there why look to the left little gap here actually this gap looks like this man just like the nasdaq that's what that gap looks for but cease creating gaps here so when it falls hard you better believe that it's going to may take a minute may take you know freaking 10 o'clock like it did yesterday but it, it, it'll it'll come back to those gaps eventually so see how that looks there's no candle from the wick to wick you know there's no nothing in between here you can argue and break these up into two you know to okay what to wick here or what to body or what but i just put it as one and if you notice it's hitting it perfectly and actually there's a 19 to 5 there it is and so it could it could be it could look like this 19 to 5 if you want to you know but since this is priced in there with a black one that's why i place it right around there and then look thursdays extend the session 50 percent we're right on it now if you go back you do your extension es it's uh 2075 you're 50 percent all of this i'm telling you man it took me years to see it <clears throat> to the extent that that we're pretty consistent it takes a minute i'm not saying it's going to take you four years because remember i started i started with unknown richie without knowing our other guy without knowing anything about the market nobody I did I want I was at YouTube University man trying to figure this out YouTube University that's not really a play that's just YouTube but you know what I'm saying it took me a minute why I was sick here at home I was I needed to do something I needed to you know so it's order block here of course too look this one 1925 is trying to get to that creating gaps up at the top so i just wanted to show you. i'm going to erase this to make the chart a little clear now so that's the play good short eight o'clock usually eight o'clock man you're hearing me saying oh my god i missed a trade i'm setting up look for that at eight o'clock if you guys are are doing pre-market it could be in the downside going up but usually we're extended the market is up look at that beautiful short man to gap to 50 percent you see how it's bouncing right off of 50 and this changed i pushed it up because the market got pushed up so the 50 changed 10 and a quarter boom right back to 50. this happens all the time guys it, it, it it's something that's pretty amazing plus added to this deal you got mr richie and his keltners here's mr todd craner good morning todd if you can hear me He's putting his charts here. Hey, buddy, I'm here. Good hey, morning. great, great. Good morning. I know, I know you're setting up. It takes a minute to set up. So, guys, look to the left here. Is all your minus development areas? You can click on that chart, and it will it will show you. So, if you can put this chart on one monitor, it will be perfect. Also, it shows you the size of the trades coming in. I watch ES because ES is just more clear. Usually, Nasdaq will follow it. If you click on NQ here. It's just a little bit jobbled up. It does show you the areas now because it's free market, but once it starts, forget it. It's a big old mess. Here's your YM. YM is pretty clear too. Look, this area here looks like YM wants to come down here too. It's, it's hit these. And uh here Keltner's very, very powerful. This is Richie's deal, man. He's excellent. 
and your longer play on EF, just so you can kind of see more above and below what the market, where the market wants to go. So that is your setup. Beautiful short, 50%. Again, starting off again here. Market's pretty flat on all three. Did I set up the Dow? I don't think I've set up the Dow yet. Um, you know, you see it, man. Let me set up the Dow really quick. This is day end. I failed YouTube University, man. They kicked me out. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Criminals. Yeah. This is RTA, uh, ETH start. Yeah. Hey, I've done you know, a lot of You know, Albert, man, I was thinking the other day, it's, it's really not fair that these people can come in now and, and get on a fast track of learning with you guys, you know? I mean, think of, I mean, I've, I've been doing this for over four years probably too. And, oh, yeah. No, and that's no, what we've decided. No, we've decided. Yeah. We've decided to do this because I don't want people going through the same. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We don't want people going through the same stuff. So we decided and said, hey, man, we, we need to do something. Look, Richie could be sitting under a palm tree and be just fine. He don't he don't he don't got to do this, man. No, he's decided and said, you know what? I want to teach people. Listen, you know, I want to teach he's people. Gotta be, he's got to be. One of the coolest guys I've ever met, besides you. you, know, <laughs> you I mean, seriously, you, you two. Well, praise um, God. You, you two, you know, uh, taking your time out to do this, where you know I know what kind of money you guys do every day, and, and to to want to do this and and get people to come in and stuff, man, it, it's it's a beautiful thing to me. You know, it's well. You have decided to join us too, Todd, man, and I think I think the same. I think the same thing, man. We we uh, thank thank you for that. And well, really it's, appreciate it's that. you know, with me, it's community service, part of my my probation stuff. But. <laughs> oh my God, go and help! I'm us. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, man, guys, we're just showing you here's the Dow. Dow's same thing the next, about a hundred on the Dow. Look, sixty-five. Okay, went a little over. It's creepy, like the Nasdaq. Nasdaq is at forty-eight. More doable. I had enough again on ES. I had trades. I, I raced it because it never went down to my level to pick up the trades again. It's been the third day. The market is that strong where once it hits a you know, slight bot, it just has been taken off this week. So, oh, let me show you some more stuff. We got news here in 10 minutes. So yeah. let me show you something else. Let's go to the cash session XPX, which is the regular S&P. If you notice, it came back down yesterday right to trend again. Here's your daily. You've seen this before. It's been on the trend, right? They're watching this like a hawk. Yes, they hit trend and bounced like right up close with a push. That's a positive. You know, they, they like that kind of close for the next day. Um, you get smaller time frames, man. You start seeing it did. But, you know, then after the push at four, then after hours doesn't show you after hours, you could go to this uh spiders uh where is spider and see kind of like what it has done you know it, it's it's traveled down a bit you know so so um we we uh we have to be careful today uh, after, after an expirations um um you know Things are being due today, whether it's up or down. Um, they have to make a decision today. And the market will tend to have volatility, calm down at lunch, and then they may put their money to play again today for the next expiration. So it can be volatile. You know, it can look like this, man, today. Volatile, <clears throat> like volatile, right? Volatile, volatile to smaller 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 and then go back up up bigger it can do that 
Now, it can go up, down, whatever, but the volatility can be pretty pretty brutal today. Right, yeah. So, yeah, so crazy day. Yeah, 830 news. Then you got this on top of us. After this week, I think the market will decide which way it wants to go. And if we have a strong close for the week, guys, get strong for it means usually means good good setup for they want 5200 and so on so you look at your cash 5150 remember 5130 you're sick of here 5150 where did it close 5150 after the bounce 5150 remember market tanked and then at the end they bought it all back up that's a strong close it could be uh, a profit taking and short cover they were shorting it profit taking alleviates a pressure and then that pops up by still a positive week i mean a positive close so remember 5150 break of 5150 they want 5200 next 5189 was the top last uh here you go uh friday last friday uh you know 5200 and they want this, you know, this will travel with it, and it could it could go for a minute, man, on the way up. After this week, it could easily, you know, start shattering. I mean, you start drawing this line, you know, draw this line and see what gets you to where the number here where you can kind of draw the lines and kind of see what areas, you know, 5230s, 5250. You know, it's incredible, but it can it can do that, man, after this this week. So with that said, I would do micros today. Don't get into anything heavy because the market the market can be very creepy, man. Here's your QQQs. What time is it? 23. Here's your Qs too. Let me do daily on this side. You know, same deal. Traveling, traveling, traveling. Market closed. Boom, it pushed up a minute. It's staying off of this trend line. You got a day gap here. Touched it barely um tuesday the fifth came back down retested here monday the 11th retested yesterday again boom and got pushed up so it keeps wicking it keeps being pushed up so the market's bullish man <clears throat> i mean it it just is that, that's just that's just that's just the way to look at that short in this freaking market <coughs> Yeah, I'm I got that one. one more, one more setup to show you, man. You, you're, dude, you're gonna freak out when you see this. I'm gonna go to ES. I'm gonna go to one page, so everybody can see it. Let's go through the news at 8:30 yesterday. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the news, guys. Yeah. The news 8:30 yesterday. This is your. 15. I'm going to go to a minute, so I may have to travel a little bit backwards. Here it is. This is what you're going to do, man. We got time. We got. Yeah, you got four minutes. You're going to take the 830 candle on the news for the one minute. You're going to mark the top of body and the bottom. The body. The bodies. Okay. You're going to mark those. Look what the market does. Came down, you mark it. As this is going, it's going to give you 15, 20 minute fine. You mark it. Came back up, tested the body. Didn't break through the upside. Came back down, tested it, came back up. So all this is pre market, right? Yes. When it went underneath, and dude, I've been missing this. I, I, I had a play, I just didn't think about it until. I started thinking about news this 8 30. I'm like, crap, I haven't been doing it. Right. Market starts. It tried to go, it was underneath it. We we we, we I should I should have been short. Anyways. Yeah. This is where it got me. I got out and then I got it, you know, profit next. Test, 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 930. Opens up, test, test. Didn't didn't break through. Got slammed down. As soon as this started to break this bottom here yep. at the open, it was, it was a short anyway. But I'm saying you're more conservative. You're looking, this is your right. one minute, right? Setting right. up for an M, seeing something happening, which it did create it here. This should have been a short. 
and it stayed short all freaking day. Yep. Now it did some big plays down here. Yeah. But it's been staying short all day. Now look. Imagine being the go back up, go back up um, to the that candle, the news candle. Yes. Imagine being short from there, man. That's what I'm saying. But you have to see because it can yeah. break to the upside. Well, it, to came, the it looks like without a fib, it looks like it went back up. What retested about seventy five percent and then fell. Yeah. Well, is, remember the body. It tried to the body. It, the it body. tried to it tried to get up here and it just couldn't. Couldn't so that it. was telling us evidence already. Hey, yeah, man, this thing is break not it. breaking. Yep. High. It, it should have been shorter. Now, in hindsight, right? Look well, at your CPI. That's PPI. Look at your CPI. I'm going to show you CPI really quick. I'm sorry, Todd. No, no. Uh, it's Tuesday the 12th. 8.30. Here it is. I'm showing you this, guys, because this works pretty good. Uh, let me find it. Here it is. <coughs> Tuesday the twenty. Hold on. Here it is. I'm not trying to find it. The twelfth. Here it is, guys. Let me show you this. The opposite. Here it is. Eight thirty. This will be on the video, guys. So you know, make a note where you want to see it, and if you give me a few days, you know, I'm usually behind editing a few days 8 30 8 30 the body it did the opposite the boom went up test went up went through that's what you got to be careful went through but this is pre-market pre-market you don't got to touch the market just yet okay look 9 59 45 that's what i'm gonna wait came back down through it bounce boom it took off tested it Remember, you're trying for a test of gold down. Okay, test that went through it. Higher low, bam, gone. That should have been all that. I retested again. W, I remember this date. W here, the one o'clock deal. 12.50, one o'clock. Remember, bonds, the bond play. We played this play. The bonds, boom. Here's the bonds again here. Uh, where's the bonds? It was twice. 30 seconds, man. Those are buying sell zones. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, guys. So let's do it. 30 seconds. Let's go back here. Let's see what the market does. We're going to react. We're not going to get killed. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It may not be a nothing burger. Richie yeah. don't like that. Yeah. Richie don't like nothing burgers. <laughs> oh, God. Richie. <laughs> It may not be anything, guys. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. Rumor. You you get the news before me, Todd. So sometimes. Nothing yet. See nothing what I'm yet. saying? It, it's probably nothing, man. Unless I don't know. What could the market think? It's just so wrong now with all this crazy news that were more important a few days ago. They, they didn't give it to me. <clears throat> they want a negative seven. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me go to Forex. Yeah, mine's not. Minus 220. 20.9. 20.9. Minus. They wanted seven. Minus 20.9, bro. What does the market translate that into? We don't know. We But we'll get evidence. Look, it's coming down. But I don't just don't see this market getting hurt on those news. Got another one at 10. I know. I know. Got another one at 10. I don't see. You may have a breakthrough test of the night and all that. So low here in the 5,200, you know, down here will be great. You know? Again, NASDAQ. Let me check out the NASDAQ because I picked the NASDAQ pretty good, man. And I didn't listen to myself yesterday. So the red, the really red ones are gonna be news. This is this is a nothing burger here, so I'm not gonna paint those. I may get rid of these because these are all hindsight now. I wanted to show that to the guys in the video, but now it's you know. Uh, uh, Mr. Nassau! 
nothing burger. Uh, uh, Richie, Richie, nothing burger, Nassau. Uh, hey, I think he's got to re come in. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, no, please. <laughs> no, I'm begging you. No, nothing burger. No, burger. <laughs> Richie's mics, Richie's mics and nothing burger. Oh, 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 I got a good night's sleep. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I got to go out and come back in. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious, bro. That was, en that was enough to say good morning. Good morning. No, good morning. And uh, when I was talking to Tito, we were talking about the gaps and all that. Look, end pattern set up. Boom, beautiful. Short. Go to Walmart. I mean, you know, guys, you can make two, three hundred bucks in one play. You're, you're, do, you're done. Go, build up your account. Take six months and do that, and do some numbers. You may have some days that you're down three hundred, but if you keep it like that, 70, 80 percent of your trades are going to be better. Um, do, do some numbers, man, and just do that consistently. I'm telling you, if you can do that, you, it, it's, it's a blessing, man. It's, it's. You just have to have the discipline to do it. If you can do that, guys, I'm telling you, don't get too extreme. It can get exciting. You may make $1,000 here and there, $2,000 here and there. It's exciting. It can be like, oh, man, I want to do one. Dude, keep it light. I'm telling you, you you're, you're going to do just fine. And uh, account's going to grow. And... You're going to be happy. You're going to learn how to truthfully trade the market. Nobody's selling you a course for freaking 15 grand. Like I know some people bought a course like that. Yeah. They haven't learned anything. Oh they they went, actually, they went to $400,000, bro. What? And lost every bit of it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that one. Oh, my gosh. Well, I almost paid yeah. uh, six That's grand it. and That's had to go right. somewhere to, to, to learn for six grand for like, Five I know. days. I know there's there's places like that. And look, they, they they can teach you and great, okay, but that's that's probably an LPQ subscription for five years. I mean, my God, right. you know, right. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? And right. you're gonna learn really how to trade the markets instead of like, hey, here's MACD or hey guys, it's, we're getting a bit. You see what I'm saying? I don't I don't I this this market should be long. I, I don't I don't I don't see this, I don't see this um I don't I just don't see this market falling, dude. You know, this market this market's got legs. Um, you know, it could be a fifty two hundred play today. Um, you know. I just I just I just see it, brother. It keeps going up and up and up and up and up. And with news like that, it ain't dude, it ain't gonna matter. It just the market's strong, man. It's it, it ain't playing, man. So, oh, thank God, it, it, Italy stepped up as a country and fined TikTok eleven million dollars. Oh, good, wow. good. Eleven million. It could, it could be a hundred and eleven million. Well, I care. It should be more. Uh, Apple. Folks, we speak about this. We spoke about it weeks ago. I told you all, oh, no uncertain terms, there would start to be consolidation in the AI space. I mean, I don't know what to say, but yeah, the, exactly the conversation we had numerous times as it came in and out of my brain. Okay, and that's what happens. Uh, Apple has acquired AI startup uh, with Canada-based Darwin AI, which specializes in vision, vision-based tech to observe components during manufacturing. Good. Sounds good to me, whatever the hell it means. <laughs> uh, I mean, folks, we don't need any of it, all right? You want to know what's going on, but do we, we don't need it. Ha uh ha. -huh. We, we really don't need it. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to put my camera on today and let, I just oh yeah, put I, on your camera so people can oh, see I you. I I in the house. There you go. Look yeah. at that. Green, oh man. God. I got green on today. Green. Green, that's right. I got, I got green on my bank account, Richie. There you go. My teeth are green, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> my oh. favorite, my favorite. This is my favorite color in the whole world is green. Okay. 
this little painting over here my oldest daughter did you could see that yeah that's um, nice man you see my sign right here it's what does it say you can hardly make it out it says more patience written in a yeah in a, in a freehand cryptic eerie no manner, not on purpose, but that's the way it came out. And you know what? I keep looking at that, man. I look at that all, most of the day, not all day. So, so. I'll, I'll look at a, a life-size photo of my hero. <laughs> Get out of here. Stop <laughs> it, Todd Curtis. Stop it, please. Freaking Todd. All right, so uh, let's see. See, I have the lights dimmed. It's really nice in this part of the world. I want to see if I should make the bring the lights up a little. Oh, Albert, did you get that? What I sent you last night? I did. Uh, yeah, I got everything. All right, that's better. That is better. Started, oh, nice. Started to feel like I was in a bomb shelter or something. Oh, oh God. Anyway, um, you know, so. Look, yesterday and the day before, you had no follow through on these moves. Moves. That's why we were. I was successful, and hopefully, some of you were successful. I know Albert was successful. I know Todd was successful until Albert and I got a little stupid and uh, started to have too much of an opinion on the market, and we got caught. We got yeah. out of it, but it wasn't an easy ride, folks. Okay. And yeah. Once, no. And it once again. Ride. Once again, to. Uh, uh, you know, to watch master traders get out of trouble, okay, is a huge deal for you folks, okay, a huge deal, and you should be following, and hopefully, I don't mean following the trade, no, I mean following uh, the movements on how to get out of the freaking trade, how to get out of trouble, so, but uh, for the most part, there was poor follow through yesterday on every level, all right, no follow through. The money wasn't there. They weren't spending the money. They spent too much money on Tuesday. That's what happened. Tuesday's explosion, uh, which we spoke about. They spent too much money. They, they used up a lot of their chips, so they had to move away. All right? And they eventually put some more money to work. Okay? Well, wow, NVIDIA down 294 was up 8 bucks this morning. There's something wrong in, uh, in the video world. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to be taking a break. You know, expirations, Richie. Huh? Expirations. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Well, you can't overtrade on a day like today. Let me tell you, this has been a very inconsistent week. We've had a good week, okay? And there's been a lot of good stuff going on over this room, okay? But today is not a day to overtrade, okay? There's who knows what's going to happen. I thought I had a handle on this option expiration. It didn't certainly pan out like that. It's hard. You can't. There's no statistics or data out there that tells you how much money, uh, how much unwinding they've done simply because they don't have to unwind anything. They could simply wait till Friday. And whatever the last sale of the day is on Friday will we'll, uh, we'll dictate their P&L on the trade. They don't have to do anything. But uh, obviously, uh, this is the biggest casino in the world, and and they and, and they tried yeah. to add money to their P and L by buying and unwinding their positions at a lower price than the closing price on Friday, and that's it. And they're gambling, man. They gamble like everybody else, and like everybody else, they make mistakes too. So um, I don't know anybody else who speaks about uh, option expiration. I lived it, I breathed it for a very, very long time. I know it. I, I know what could go on with these uh, with these particular weeks uh, of option uh, option expiration, and um, and you know I, I don't I don't feel that anything is above our pay grade here. Okay, uh, if I can't figure it out, Albert can't figure it out. If Todd can't figure it out, it ain't it, it's just not to be figured out. Okay, but there's nothing that I'm not figuring out here. I'm telling you right now. So. Richie, did you get my my email? I did. I did. I, I you're not on, but you're not on my Zoom. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, yeah. I didn't go on it yet. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I wanted to say it real. All quick. right. No, no, no. Here we go. Going on now. Thank you. Oh. All right. So let's look. We're getting into some areas here. 
All right. The, the main area is 51, 5191, 5192. That's it, folks. If they break that area, the market's got trouble and it's changing the structure, the buy side bias. But right now, you don't go against the trend. You don't, I don't short any of these technical areas. Uh, there's no way that game is over. You know, I'll, I'll, I will obviously scalp trade these things. There's that word again. Yeah. Scalp. Oh, I'm a scalper. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, so the support area is 5213. That's major. 5200. That's major. 51. The end all to be all to me is 5191.92. 5191.92. And let's see, 5191. Let's just talk about that and what that is. It, it was a trend line and it connected last Tuesday, March 5th, and this Monday, March 11th, higher lows, higher lows. It's been a battleground all week, this area. You lift it off from this point on Monday, Monday evening, after spending all Monday basing below 91. It started the rally to 52.40 on Tuesday. And then that was, we bottomed here today, which was uh, yesterday. And, and that's it. That is the number, folks. Okay, that, That's the number. We don't make this stuff up. Um, and listen, these are OPEX days. <laughs> These are, these days are notoriously, they are the worst days of the year for trading in general. The worst days of the year. And, and the price tends to, you know, pin around, pin around, no follow through. Uh, level around a different, a level to level. It just, it's just no follow through. We've been seeing that all week. It's part of the personality this week. Every time you think the market's off to the races or going to get killed for the most part until they finally deliver the final blow yesterday, it didn't happen. Okay. There was no follow through. We spoke about it anyway yesterday. Major resistance areas. Okay. 21. All right. 21. The high is, the high is 30 and three quarters I see. Traded down at 52.10. Our overnight investor friends uh, really didn't make a spectacle out of themselves, so it didn't do much. They didn't puke it. Uh, I didn't do what we said yesterday, and you guys got to remind me if I get dopey on you. And that is the disgust before we end up with the potential run of play could be. So I just made a note. I can't. We're not going to forget it tonight, folks. <coughs> right. Say, and what we would have said last night is whatever your account handles, whatever you think, if you want to follow along with this particular play, you pit, you put a 91 bid in and you put a stop order 10 handles below that. And that's it. Because if they break that level, they, they're going down 20 or 30 or 40 handles. Okay, very possible. So that's the reason. But you limited your risk overnight. You were able to sleep calm and nicely. Uh, you have a bet, you know what your risk is, and you can wake up probably more than half of the time, by and large, maybe 60, 70% of the time, by and large, with 20 or 30 handles in your favor, okay? And that's how we're going to do this, and that's just another play. That's nothing to do with anything. It has to do with observation of observing what has been going on. That's it. Um, so resistance 52.21. And then you, then you got 50, 52, 29, 32, which is the high, uh, 30, three, and 30 and three quarters, right in the middle of that spread is the high, all right, for the day so far, overnight. Next major resistance area is 52, 51, all right, 52, 51. Um, if this, uh, you know, that's exactly where this should go. If they, it, it, the 2931 area is, is exactly where the market should should have went to, and it, that's where it went. Uh, we'll see what happens today. It's going to be a tricky kind of day because, as I said, they didn't. We don't know how much money they spent to unwinding. We don't know how much more money they want to spend on unwinding. Uh, they are not going to do it. They are. This is for sure. The one trade you do not make today, which we speak about as far as I'm concerned, is buying breakouts. 
Okay, because if there is more unwinding to do, okay, they're not going to do it on a breakout. They're not going to do it on that level. So the breakouts are not going to be as strong as they may be. All right. Let's just say they didn't spend all that money on Tuesday. Let's just say. All right. If they didn't, they would have more money to spend. And they may look at it a little differently. But they did. And so, you know, that is a trade you don't don't want to take. Fail breakouts. And that includes... And that includes a three-minute bar chart, Todd Kramer. That includes a three-minute NQ bar chart as well, and a three-minute YM bar chart as well, and, and the top breakout level being the top count in the channel on these charts, okay? And I include that in the breakout uh, scenario that we're talking about. Sanka. Um. Let's see. Mixed bag here, technology, magnificent seven, mostly all green. Uh, excuse me, red, NVIDIA down five. It was up seven and a half bucks about an hour ago. Uh, Microsoft up dollar sixty seven. Apple appears to be an accident waiting to happen to me. Uh, uh, Boeing, they're still trying to figure out who killed that uh, whistleblower. General Motors, I'm telling you, you got to forget about these EVs. General Motors spent $25 billion on their, <laughs> on their EV stuff, all right, $25 billion, and then added money to it, started about two years ago. I'm telling you, these car manufacturers are all bagged. They're all bagged with this nonsense. I mean, they just are. And that's the way I'm going. That's the way that's the way I'm looking at this. All right. This is not only a day trading scalp trading room. This is a Wall Street trading room that talks about Mac Mac macro stuff. It talks about everything that yes. turns into the market. OK. In nuances that help you form your brains into 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 a mold. All right, that really will get you up to snuff on exactly what's going on. Okay, exactly. Uh, IBM is a monster. Uh, TNX is uh, 4.30.04. It's significant that that 10 year note is up at that level. I sent you guys another, I don't know, it was, it was the same one they printed today on the, on the trade zero, uh, on the trade zero. Uh, uh, International, you know, have a, an international. They have a they have a uh, email every morning. It's it's quite good actually. It lays yes. out everything, um, and they explains the VWAP again. It's a piece they they picked out. I think they just don't, you know I don't think you have to send it out because I think we just sent that one out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did. I, w I would love to have that just that video, but I know we can't do that. But I sent I I just emailed it to you, so whatever you know. Yeah. Send it out. You know what you're sending out. The most yeah. important thing for us to send out, folks, is is to is to uh, futures. People are afraid of trading. I, I assume that's how we have to move along until we find out differently. So we have to keep putting these videos out there, which mm -hmm. are making that that really uh, explains future trading in a way where it's not to be intimidated. It's just the craziest misconception ever, actually. So, um, let's see. So let's take a look at. Uh, let's take a look at. Uh, if there's setting up this morning. Saint Joseph's Day, feast of Saint Joseph's, March nineteenth. That's where they make that uh, Italian pastry puff. Oh my God, to die for! Oh my God, Please. that's what we want to hear. We want to hear about designer gourmet food, Richie. You know? Oh my God! Uh, listen, Saint Joseph's Day. I mean, uh, you can get the most incredible Saint Joseph pastries. It's just one puff. It's just, it's just incredible. Wow. I, I had. Uh, you know, I had like Lombardi's pizza, the grandfather of all pizza in New York. Like I'd have 20 pies delivered to the trading floor and everybody would come around my 
booth, as they called it. Oh and everybody, would, there'd be paper plates there. To, oh. it, it's a grandfather of up, up, oven break, oven, bu- uh, yeah, whatever pizza in New York City. Every famous pizza place came from Lombardi's, okay, in in the West <clears throat> West Third Street. Oh my God. Every, every freaking one of them, okay, um, every one of them, and uh, and so. I belong to an Italian club uh, that is the oldest Italian club with a rifle range in the basement. <laughs> it, ter- it, ter- it goes back to Garibaldi. Uh, there's a, a letter from Garibaldi because even then, all right, wow. the club is 130 years old. Even then, they were against having the gun club, having a gun rifle range in the basement. Even then, wow. folks. Even then, so you know these. At least they're consistent. These lunatics. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I I would get probably around six dozen. I don't know how many. I, I really don't know. But these Italian pastries delivered to the trading floor, they came wide and large. The trading floor was pretty wide and spread out. But when once the word got out, man, there would be a thousand people in front of my booth taking out uh, St. Joseph's pastries. Freaking vultures. <laughs> yes. I, I just need one. <clears throat> I don't need a dozen. Just, just one. Hmm. That's great. Those are good stories, Richie. Man, I love that. man. It, I mean, that's that's the cool stuff there, man. I mean, you know, the the camaraderie on that trading floor with it, it was just really unbelievable. Anyway, uh, so let's see what's going on here in general. Um, I'm getting very tired. I own the video. It's a joke. Um, Anyway, um, let's see. So the why the YM, uh, I mean, YM acting pretty good. It's it's plus uh, fifty five handles on a day. It, it, I can see already that there's no movement here before the opening. There is hardly any volume. It, it, it just magnifies what has taken place. Uh, other than the puke yesterday and uh, and and the, and the day before, there was a mini puke as well. But you, it. it but during the interior parts of the week before these pukes took place, they were just small, level to level, without any follow through. I'm seeing the same thing here early. So you know, the, you don't want to trade these things early. Uh, I, you know, I certainly don't. Um, all right, but the uh, let's see, you know, the all three charts. The YM is ahead of uh, the ES. And it's ahead of the nasty NASDAQ, of course, which is down a crumb, nothing. All right. ES contract is up a crumb, nothing. Um, So, you know, I see the nine EMA. It is exactly nine EMA is up against the volume weighted is moving to towards the volume weighted average on the NQ and on the ES. They're replicating one another. They just moved up together in unison and touch the volume weighted average. And of course, and of course, with the YM moving like this, it passed it passed the volume weighted out. It passed the E9 EMA and crossed the 9 EMA crossed the volume weighted average uh, right at the middle Keltner channel. Okay, so there you go with that. When the 9 EMA crosses the volume weighted average, what we look for is that 9 EMA, literally now, we look for it to expand the width between the 9 EMA and the volume weighted average. When you expand the width, the, mar- the, the contract is going to go higher, going to go higher. So, NASDAQ, see, there's no, here we go again with the no, no follow through. You see both of them. But I the most important thing at this point to me is that the ES9 ES, excuse me, the one minute ES and NQ are exactly mirroring one another. Exactly. So um hey Albert, can we do can we do a, a let's say we did a live session on uh, whatever whatever you TikTok, uh, Facebook, I don't know where. Oh, yeah, it, we could do YouTube live sessions. People do have live sessions on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, all the time, yeah. Okay, so why don't 
why don't we do and publicize a live session? And okay. one of these days, we just put it on. That's it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we'll set that up. A whole session, 8 to 12. Nice. Yes. All right. Let's just get a date when you think that we've got the word out there enough. And uh, don't forget, I have an interview today. I mean, I think people would be interested in that. And I can certainly speak about it uh, during yes. my interview. So uh, if we can get a date before 12 o'clock, what's the difference of the date? It doesn't matter. No, you pick out a date, we can do it, Richie. Okay. You pick out a date, we'll do it. I'll set up an email, uh, put a uh, preview type of uh, deal, and, and, and let's do it. Mm. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, I think I think that'll be I think that'll be helpful. That people will see that this is not rocket scientists training futures. Oh, future, yo, future trader. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a beautiful push on on the S to Wednesday's uh, fifty percent area. Push right off of that ridge. Oh my God. Let me see. It is nine o'clock, but it'd be nice to get to see a fifteen-minute double bottom there, retest of that, and and go to the upside. But it's nine o'clock, so nine. You know, here about two minutes. You uh, can't get a double bottom here. W set up, but you know. Tito, good morning, Tito. Now they're coming down again, and there's the YM leading the way. But of course, the YM has led the way up and will lead the way down. And the other two, the other two are reluctantly following the YM and getting softer. I say reluctantly because the movement of these charts and the movement of these numbers, if there's no acceleration, and I talk about the rhythm, the rhythm rhythm of the numbers all the time there are rhythms rhythms to numbers for sure and the rhythms of the numbers they mean something yeah it's crazy right yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's all crazy right yeah well, yeah but what we're teaching you folks is just it may not be orthodox. You know, I had a trainer once, and he was a bodybuilder. He was a former Marine. And, and not too long ago, the last trainer I had, actually, and he was fantastic. What a specimen this guy was. Uh, and good guy, good guy. And he worked for Equinox. And, uh, you know, and, and when I hired him, you know, we started talking. Uh, thank you, Tito. Um, when, when we started talking, you know, he said, uh, you know, Equinox trainers have all this protocol and how they want their trainers to teach, to teach the, the people that are buying lessons of uh, people that are buying training sessions. And he said to me, you know, in some corner somewhere in the gym where we work out, he said, listen, Rich, we understand each other. Uh, my methods are unorthodox. My methods are, are, are different. You know, I have, they're telling me to teach a certain way, but I'm not doing it, you see. I'm teaching the way I know how to teach. I, I'm going to get you to a, an area where you want to be a lot quicker than if, they, if I taught you the way they're telling me to teach you. Right. Okay? And, and, and so, folks, that's what you're dealing with here. I'll tell you right now. I mean, that guy was the best. He was the best. And, you know, of course, that's when I lived in Tribeca and, you know, the, the, the Equinox Club was about 10 blocks away, walked back and forth. It was a beautiful thing. That's cool. You know, but, you know, I, I belong to many different clubs and many different training places, including including the first club in New York uh, that was between the original Twin Towers. I worked out in three or four days a week. Wow. 
right in the middle. I mean, that was all destroyed. But that was the first club. You know, that was a there was a model for everybody, every club today, including Equinox. Two floors, a, a, a lap swimming pool, a train is everywhere. Uh, I mean, it was you know, it was awesome. That's cool. It was really really awesome. That's cool, man. Richie, where were you? Where were you at nine eleven? I was I was trading at a hedge fund uptown on Fifty Fourth Street. On, in Third Avenue, God, man. And I remember we were in front of it. I was with three or four great traders, people I know. Number a couple of them were customers of mine, um, and and so I remember to this day sitting in front of those computers and watching this, watching the first building, and right. really, what? You just couldn't believe it. No, and we're like, what? And then all of a sudden, it got more and more real. And then you find out what was going on. It was around 10 to 9. I, I, right. never, I never forget it. Yeah. Richie, what about the actual trading? And then the market freaking tanked and all that. How do you guys handle that stuff, man? Well, we just folded up our tent. We didn't We didn't do any trading until there was more clarity. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. You know, it was, uh, you know. But I remember this, man. It was a spectacular gorgeous day beautiful oh mm -hmm. was out there was an eerie calmness about the day walking uptown and of course on 54th street all the way down to the end of the tip of manhattan you could see the the the, the clouds you could yeah. see the smoke and and oh my god and people were in a catatonic state walking around the streets there was no traffic. There were no cars. You could walk around Fifth Avenue and Sixth Avenue. It was barren. People were walking around in a daze. Sun was beautiful. It was it was really eerie. Very yeah. very eerie. Yeah. Unimaginable. 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 Uh, I got the. <clears throat> we we went to New York several years back and got to walk through. We did a private tour. Of the the museum they had there, yep. And I, I had to I had to walk out to be honest with you. I had to walk out a couple of times. I just it, I was just overwhelmed. Yep. And you know they did such a beautiful job of it, and you know no federal money to do that. No federal money helped yep. them with that. It was all mainly the number one uh, contributor was Bank of America, believe it or not. Yep. Wow. Yep. And, um, just a just unbelievable man just you know those people had nothing to do with nothing they were just going to do their nine to five and it was just so sad and that uh fire commissioner that was there tommy von essen yeah was grew up in my neighborhood we played little league ball together wow we played softball against each other when we got older and you know, I, I know Tommy Von Essen for a thousand years. Wow. A, good, a real good man. Very proud of that man. Grew up. I know the way he grew up. He grew up the way I grew up. We grew up again in the same neighborhood. But he was outstanding. Yeah. And he, he, he was really outstanding. Good man. <clears throat> well, Trump was on the ground pretty quick too, right? I mean, he was he was Absolutely. there with his crews and stuff. Uh, uh, ab absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Trump is a. I mean, I mean, he built a skyline in New York, okay? And these these pieces of garbage that are trying to do what they're doing to him, they should be ashamed of themselves. This man is responsible for building the skyline in New York for the most part. Believe me. I mean, it's 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 unconscionable what they're trying to do to this man. Yeah. Yep. Well, I just I, I just wondered because we got to walk um, Wall Street, which was really cool. Yep. And uh, I just wondered, you know, how, just unimaginable. Watching it on TV was one one thing, but being right there outside your door, you know, just it was well, like the end of the world. Well, my firms were, you know, was still running. They were on a trading floor. They locked down a trading floor. They wouldn't allow right. anybody in or out. Right. You know, uh, 
and you know my oldest son was on that trading floor because he was a member wow he was a member after i left i made him a member before i left and uh you know well you know um w was in sarasota at a school in florida and you know they they told him of course they were filming him because i think he was reading school books or something and yeah i remember yes and they they grabbed him and ran him away and put him on air force one and flew away and then there was a lot of critics to that and you're like wait a minute yeah right of course the the, the number one thing is to take care of the president and and you know he's never landed he doesn't you know no one no they don't you don't know where he is i mean right oh they're protecting him get i mean this this something like this has never happened on u.s soil unprecedented so of course you're going to protect him yep and unfortunately and i hate to say this believe me but you know there's going to be another scene here something else is going to happen and it's getting closer you can't have all these illegals coming in here and and the countries of origin dumping their worst people on us why wouldn't they well yep. what would you do if you were in a country where they were tearing up your country gangs and stuff like that you would you would get hey you're out of here let's go to go to america they need you they want you yeah right so it's not going to end nice folks it's going to be another scene Sad yeah when you don't even they, they don't even ask them any questions now at all you have no idea who these people are but yet no. to get on a cruise ship or an airplane or something you have to go through all the security but to come into our country oh just come on in right yeah here's, here's a visa here's a free place to stay here yeah. here you go here's an iphone yeah 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 oh yeah it's a walmart gift card yeah that's right i knew albert i knew albert was involved with that i knew it <laughs> it's w didn't set up guys so i'm gonna erase it mark is still coming down remember we want evidence of a break of the middle leg it didn't do that so mark has got another leg down 52 13 13 yeah 52 13 support and it's major support 52 13 by the way major Can't impress on you enough. If uh, if it trades at fifty one ninety one, um, if it trades at fifty one ninety one, watch out. All right, watch out. It could change the structure. But I don't care. Well, I am bottom kelp in the channel right now. Seventy eight just broke it. Right on it. Seventy eight traded at seventy seven. Is the uh, NQ moving up? Uh, NQ moving up, ES moving up. It starts to approach that 13 area. There are people, investors out there that know, uh, not, not I don't know how many of them, or know that that 13 area, how important the support area is. So they, they put up a little bit of a wall there and circle the wagons. It's only, it is before the opening, but that's an example of what, what takes place doesn't always take place but that's what's happening right now if you ask me all right that's why it ticked up but now let's see what happens yeah man there's some stuff below here that's looking wow looking like the low man Let's see him checking out the NASDAQ for the open and see. I'm going to wait to 9.45. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> getting crazy, Richie, man. <laughs> oh, uh, I know, right? NASDAQ, yeah. the 200 again is down here. It Try to test it at night. I'd like to go 100 below that. Where's the NASDAQ 200? Uh, NASDAQ uh, right now. Uh, no, uh, the NASDAQ is a 231. That price, I mean. All right. Oh, the 200? Yeah, the price. It, it kind of almost tested it. I mean, low was 06. 
<clears throat> Dude, I had a short at eight at seven forty-five up there, bro. And look where it's at. I got a little bit of it, but setting up, talking to Tito about it, it hit the way up here, hit gap. Here we are, bro. Oh my god. Thirteen and a quarter last. YM, they, I mean, they're like, they don't care. YM, another low here. 13 wow. last on the S&P contract. Just broke it. Let's see. Let's see if there's any acceleration through 13. They got these suckers really a little nervous. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. No doubt. So Apple buys a AI company. There'll be other deals coming. I don't know when. Maybe six months. Maybe eight months. Maybe a year. But I, I'd say within six months there'll be other AI deals coming just like this. But they buy a company that specializes in this vision nonsense. Oh my God! I, mean, I, I don't. You know, help me out here with this, please. You want to put on a pair of goggles and be on another planet? Uh, drop an LSD pill or something. <coughs> No. I mean, you know, do a mushroom. Well, that's what they do in Hollywood. It's okay. Do a mushroom. I, I never did any of that stuff, by the way. No. Because I, I know, but no. I do a mushroom. I did plenty of stuff. I'm not I'm not coming out here to be the saint. Okay, I'm not. I grew up in a very tough neighborhood full of wise guys and drugs. Okay. So uh, I'm not this freaking uh, level saint. Okay. What? No. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. What? So well, let's watch this 13 area. It's Peter Fonda. Peter Fonda said to John Lennon when he moved to L.A. with his housekeeper, with the okay of his wife, Yoko Ono, said, just, just go. And John Lennon hung out in Hollywood in L.A. with all the all the lunatics, and he's at a party with Peter uh, Fonda, and who was whacked out on LSD, and he's asking him, yeah, you know what it is to be dead? And John says, no, man, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? You know what it is to be dead, and he writes a song about it. You know what it is to be dead? And he tells him, no, man, you don't know what you're talking about. I know you're crazy. Something wrong with you in his song, so... Oh, watch out. Here you go, folks. 11.50 last, okay? 11.50 last. There's trouble in paradise. The birds no longer sing. All right. You're approaching night, the night low. And then the open is coming. Oh. Low, yeah, nice low is 10, 11.25. Look, the YM is really the leaning factor here today, folks. It was up all day. It's now red. The, Richie, I don't know if you saw it, but I did put a buy zone. I didn't. From 35 to 310, but, you know, Albert talked about the even, so 300 possibly before a pullback. Okay, 300, what's the zone? Um, 335 to 310. Right, okay. And then, but then, you know, 300, it could go through there if, if they decide to bring it back. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, absolutely. No, that's good. I like that, Todd. I think, I think that's doable. Yeah, there's no way that, uh, and, and that's good. There's no way that, uh, there's no way if they if they come down to 310 that they're not going to 300 that they're not printing the main number okay right. that's just what happens so that's, yeah that's how i feel too yeah yeah that's a good call of i feel course. like it's going to be a reverse of yesterday like they're going to push it up at the open now it may not happen but it's getting slammed down so hard you know how they are man freaking criminals let me tell you they hurt the, they hurt these people that I don't these investors that unwound new low, new low on a YM. Yep. New low. They hurt these criminals. 
that all right there, there's not some happy traders on that desk let me tell you but i will say one thing if they did spend a lot of money and unwinding on tuesday which they did if they did spend some more money on a, on a cushions cushing cushion cushioning the downside on any of these uh, wednesday and thursday areas okay they can't turn back now okay so any radical puke like we saw yesterday that albert and i got caught in i don't think it's going to happen today because if 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 you think about it think about if you're spending your money and you're long much higher and but you have a big bank okay you are not going to add you can maybe add a little bit uh, on a downdraft on wednesday maybe add a little bit on a downdraft on thursday but then yesterday you, you know i mean they did finally turned it around a little bit thank heavens for albert and i they turned it around a little bit but not to the level where you would think they would okay so they put some more money to work because they have to if you're long up near the top and you got a big bank all right and you're involved in, in managing a lot of money you got to add you gotta because why because if you don't add and the market goes back up and you're bagged at the top you got to answer to your portfolio managers okay so you have to add that's what's going to happen here today if you ask me but yeah, I've, I've been wrong. the same thing and i've been wrong before but look at this look at that puke in that 13 number look at that look at that you know if this was if this was opening if the market was open probably could have taken a short there at 12. As soon as it clears that 13, you don't take the short at 13. You take it at 11 and a half, 12. You'll want to make sure that you're not short in the bottom. Look at that. I mean, there's no hesitation. Yeah, that was pretty much the night low. NASDAQ didn't go all the way to it, but I respected it pretty nice. Let me see ES. Wow, ES went through. A minute big right. wick ym coming up and then the nasty nasdaq coming up all right that could have they could have touched the nerve there although the next support area is 5200 but that may be an example of what we're just talking about okay mm -hmm. we put some money to work on an extreme puke all right it's before the opening so there's some gamblers out there Especially above the 5200 area. Even Bitcoin is getting touched up a little. 1500 bucks down. I saw it as high as 72, 73. Maybe it was higher. I don't know. But I saw it as high as over 72,000. It's a 67, about eight. That's a little double bottom there. Let's see if it holds, guys. I know nine nine thirty is coming up, so everything's red. Everything red on your screen, Richie. You got MU up two bucks. That's like I say all the time. I mean, that's the craziest stock on the planet. It, it has helped. It has hurt numerous people over the years. It never does what you think it's going to do. And that's the best way to sum it up. So that's up two bucks. All right, you got Netflix up almost 14 bucks. Uh, IWM is green, 15, nothing, 15 cents. Um, oils, <clears throat> they're killing it. No, here they go again. Look at this. Yeah, Let's, man. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Take out the overnight low hour mm -hmm. on, on Nazi. He has a shot. Dude, that's that's a powerful, powerful thing you found. Powerful. Crazy, right? Yeah, man. That's I can almost be around you now that that you showed me that. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, you're extended now, man. Wow. Look at it. He has got killed. Um, yeah. I had a short up there, but I you know, 
I'm working on it. I'm working on holding stuff a bit. And Nazi is at a new low. Uh, it looks like that 200. Let's see if that holds, man. YM is, YM is puking. Yeah. See what I said? It blew right through that. See where we land. They could put some money to work here if they believe the market's going to hold 5,200. Mm -hmm. YM is like they're dropping a the towel. Yeah. That's why I waited. And, you know, they're doing this and they'll rip it up probably at the opening. But, dude, I'm not going to get in this thing. Right? No, no. Yeah, that's what it looks like, man. It looks like they're they're gonna want to rip well, this thing. Up. I'm a gunslinger, and then there's Richie and Albert. I mean, they're just they're at a whole ne another level for me. Man, you just gotta get out of you know. Once something goes against you, you gotta hammer down and freaking put your you know. Yeah, man, y'all rolled your sleeves up yesterday and got out of that. That was awesome. Okay. That was that was good. Should have a bounce at the open, man. Uh, when is that here? It's coming up. Seven minutes. A little better here. I bought the NASDAQ at 98. Let's see. I mean, that's a hell of a dump, man. Oh, yeah. Especially before the opening, you know? Yeah, it's getting into yesterday's, you know, yesterday's deal there. <clears throat> now, again, another open, and they're freaking tanking it. Yeah. And they're tanking me. There you go. Ill faded. Oh, man, this is serious, huh? We are at yesterday's deal now. Big wick, that's good sign of maybe a little bounce here. Jeez. Oh, I missed adding at 82. That was the spot. Down four handles, three handles. I would think they have done all their selling. <laughs> that was a heck of a dump. Yeah, definitely an area where to get in that spike down like that. But yeah, yeah, I missed it. That would have bought me probably would have been about even right now. Instead of being down seven handles. Man, they tore this thing up. God, look how low they went. They went all the way down to RTH, right, Albert? On NASI? Yeah, I mean, it passed. Uh, they went to yesterday's, yeah, RTH, yeah, 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 ETH yesterday. And, I mean, on the 4th, I mean, they, they went, um, wow. they tested yesterday's low, man, with that. Mm-hmm. They just flushed all the longs is what they did. Yeah, I mean that's that's why I think I think they're gonna get a bid at the open. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so, but I'm not I'm not yeah I'm not getting in any trouble here today. Yesterday was a little too much. Oh my god, yeah. My yeah, therapist we, wait, we just wait for the setup, man. My therapist made me hang up after two hours, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He, didn't, he, he didn't even want to make the money. He was confused. No. No, <laughs> no, listen, listen I, I think I'm retiring. <laughs> oh. oh, man. 
I mean, this thing you see oh, it. There. Man, this is ugly. ugly. Mm -mm. Bad, melting bad. Mm -mm. Oh, Nvidia that'd be down with crazy market. Dow's getting a bid. Nvidia down twelve. Oh my god. All right, come on, just uh, please. See, guys, the bottom of that buy zone, I said, <clears throat> we dropped 100 through it. Yeah, I know. 100. And that 91 area, okay, so... That's a major 91 area, as we said, it's a major number. And I'm, you know, I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, I must have, a, I need to have my head examined. Yeah, this next has shut off almost 200 handles. Remember I said 200, I wanted 100 below that. And that's, it's freaking, this, this thing is crazy, guys. Yeah. We really got to be careful with this market. Uh, uh, you're getting a bounce now. Dow's getting a bounce. Everything's getting a bounce. Let's see. At the, I, I just don't think you're not going to get a bounce at the open. I think the open, yeah. you're going to get a nice bounce. Yeah. 929. Right now, there's no freaking bounce. Yeah. Well, I agree with you. Here we go. Yeah, hopefully they're going to just 100 maybe in Q, then go. We'll see. Here we go, guys. There we go. Rip. Yeah, rip because, you know. All right, that's it. I went up losing six handles. It's okay. To make up the money, 180 bucks. It's all right. It's kind of pausing yeah. here. Let's see. My God, Dow ES did good. Nasdaq's creepy. Let's yeah. see. We got a bounce. 91 area now, folks. Okay, 91 area. Yeah, and that's like that 100 and see we get a bounce from there. It's way oversold. Again, open comes. They're freaking selling it, man, every open. And they buy it up. 10 o'clock, 10.30. Dow E is getting a nice bounce. Yeah, Dow's ripping to the moon, man. Oh, look, it's finally back in the buy zone now. Yep, look at that. Wow. Wow. That's 100 handles quick. Crazy. 100, 130. <laughs> yeah. Imagine trying to scale into that 100 handles down. There's no way. No, no. That's why these guys that have these rooms uh, that, you know, look for these long-range plays, man. Let me tell you, watch out with that. Yeah, man. Why You're right. This is yeah, serious stuff here now. There's no rhyme or reason. Nasdaq is uh, Nasdaq ain't doing nothing. It's doing everything. It's doing nothing. It's not following anything. There it goes. Thank you. It just took nine handles. I don't want anybody getting in trouble here with me. Okay, but I made up my money. I'm flat on a day. I made 200 bucks back. Nice. Nice, Richie. You don't give it up, folks. Do not give up. Do not. You're here in this game. Yeah, you're, you can't you're, give up. You're right. You're paying for these sessions. You're involved. Learn, man. Learn. Learn the good and the bad and the ugly. <laughs> Wasn't that That's me. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> what a freaking range. This is crazy, dude. Oh, man. I know. I got you. killed. Yeah. NASDAQ is not it, either. The NASDAQ's going to explode or puke big time because it's not reacting to any yeah. optics. Yeah. This, right. this is strange type of stuff, man. Listen, that. I'm going to tell you right now, we make money on a day like today. We can, we navigated every market possible. It's all part of the learning experience. Yeah. This, that this market pukes and Nasdaq is going to puke big time. Yeah. That's what it looks like, man. It does a big downturn, man, for it to uh again open comes, they freaking kill it. Yep. That's been the uh play. Down come on back glory. Down. Everything's nice, they buy it. Might as well hit that 100 NASDAQ. Wow, that would be crazy. It did hit. I mean, it, that's, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> now, is that getting a bid? There you go. Nice that's a little bid there. Yes, that look good. There you go. Nice little bit there. At least it's not completely selling off. More, I should say. There you go. All right. I'm green on a day, folks. 80 bucks. Good. All right. All right we're back on track. Let's go. Let's go. He's wound up now. Nobody's, up whining, now. Man. Nobody's whining here. You don't hear Albert whining. You don't hear Todd whining. You don't hear me whining. Let's no way, go. Man. And let's go. Keep your focus. Drink more Sanka. More Sanka. <laughs> Juan Valdez has nothing on us. No. Oh, look at that short-lived rally in the NASDAQ. I'm telling you, watch out here. They could clean this clock. YM coming down. Yeah, we'll get it, man. Oh, we will get it. That's like holding here. Did it go to 200? Look at that, man. Did it get there? Criminals. Bottom sure did. 91. Bottom no, that's YM. I'm sorry. No, bottom counting the channel on the YM is, is 51. That's YM. Look at that YM. Might as well hit that 100 NASDAQ. It, it's holding here, but let, let's see if the others are going to get a bid. What's going to happen? That's it. I caught that little move just now. Okay, I promise now. Just don't want to get anybody in trouble. All right? So, no, it's a little bit too crazy here. Yeah, you're right. You're all over 21. I bought one at 49 and sold it at 55.50 on that little move. And now I'm up 200 bucks on a day. And now I got some money to play with. <clears throat> Their money, the criminals' money. It's okay. Man, that dance around it's 91 number, folks. All these numbers. I'm telling you, this is. I'm looking for a runner short, actually, but I'm not doing it. Not not on a triple X expiration. The, the complexion yeah. in this. Could, could change on a dime on a day like today. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And it's still on the short side. Any any upside should be met with with shorts, guys. Here. Yep. Yes, Dow looking better, but this NQ, I don't know. Let's see, I down 26, Nvidia down 10, which is not bad. <clears throat> Here we go again. A similar move where I've scalped three NQ trades. I'm not, uh, I'm telling, I'm afraid of this mark. I will tell you right now. Yeah. I'm, I am afraid of a clean out. And I, 
do not want to get involved. Yeah, the NASDAQ. NASDAQ needs to go to 100 first, man. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking puke. Oh. That is a short. Any bump up should be shorted so far. That 100 might be good to. Yeah, uh, Dow's getting a bid. Next major support is 5165. <clears throat> 50, That's major. Wow. I mean, there are a couple, you know, small areas. 81 is an area. 76 is an area. But 65 is major. So, you oh. know. Albert's right. I think they're going to hit this 100, man. Yeah, yeah, 100. And then we'll go from there. Dow's getting a little bid, but, you know. Yeah. Might be a good bump from here, but let's see. Well, and you got news in 20, which I don't know what the consumer sentiment. Yeah, we don't know what. Yeah, you're right. Did it hit it? Almost did it hit it? You were pretty much on it. 801, 803. Maybe get a good bounce from here, guys, but yeah. Now he is getting a bounce. Here we go. Nice call, four handles. Yeah, it should it should give you it should give you a pretty pretty nice bounce here, man. Thing is, can you trust the bounces? You see, that's yeah. Until you can trust the bounces, you can't. That, <laughs> yeah, you really. And there you go. Look what they did. Nine forty-five is my time here, so I'm gonna see if, if <laughs> an extension. Yeah, I know, right? An extension to see what the heck's going on, man, with this market, guys. I mean, that's a hell of a peak, right? <clears throat> well, it goes the nasty Nasdaq. ES is toughening up through ninety now. Missed that one. Nice bounce. So three, W setting up on ES, looking like it's got to break that middle leg, though. <clears throat> Look at that beautiful bounce now, segment. That was it. Yeah, beautiful. Good call. It should retest 945 double bottom. Could give you a nice trade. 15 minutes. Yes, that'll look good. Nvidia just rallied like ten points. Yeah, I Little, think. I, I, yeah, ten points. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it doesn't. You know, YM, YM to the middle Keltner channel three hundred thirty. Isn't that a, a number that we? Uh, yeah, that becomes a resistance number. Uh, a nine a thirty nine three oh seven. Yeah, and, that's 100. 39, and here goes the NQ, and here goes the ES. Come on, baby, catch these shorts. Let's go. Go YM right to the 100, from 100 to 100, man. Look, 200 to 300, man. Pull back on the NASDAQ 945 candle. See if we got a W double bottom. It's looking better, but we're not out of the woods. No, no, exactly right. <clears throat> A retest of that even, let's see. Everything coming down, NASDAQ, hmm. <clears throat> Ain't looking good. 942. Need a 945 candle. Uh, NASDAQ breaking through, breaking through. Hit even 99. Oh, oh, oh. 
Man, look at awesome. this, man. Wow. Yeah. It can go to the next low, ne next one, man. It can go to even. That's a long way down. Yeah, dude, it can, man. I'm telling you, man. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's looking spooky and, and, and creepy. The C945 break right up to even mark will be good. We are at 943. It's still holding. The one minute went through, but... ETH March 1st, 50%. All right, guys, let's see 945 bounce, man. Jeez, everything else is holding good. Right. So Nancy needs to get going. Yeah. Yes, it ain't bad. It ain't really, bad. Uh, you're seeing a major difference of opinion on the Nasdaq here. Okay. I know, all right. You got you mm -hmm. got a stack of buyers coming in. I'm trying to make this where you can see a little bit better on it. Yeah, there's a lot of buy imbalances, man. Yeah. Yeah, but so far that I mean, that meant that much. No, nope. well, that's the thing being made, being met with distribution. So sort of the moves have really not been, you know, they're distributing into the moves. That's it. Yeah. Why am coming down bottom Keltner channel just broke a three minute bar chart. Why am. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, be careful. New low. Yeah. New low in the ES. 81 is a, a support area. It's not major, but it is a, is a support area. But if you put the support area of 81 and 76 together, there's a little bit of a of a of, of a uh, argument that could be made to be long here. Okay. <clears throat> See, Nazi 94525. Let's see with this double bottom here, man. Yeah, it looks like a double bottom to me. This is RTH for 50%. Jeez, we're way back there. see nice little bounce there 945 bounce could this be it want a w set up guys pull back on a w will be the more conservative ym bounce right off the bottom kelton channel folks wow that's a beautiful bounce man that's a beautiful bounce 20 handles Coming down again. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, this is, oh, I'm telling you. This could be your W. <clears throat> but now we got news in, well, still quite a ways away. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Consumer yeah. sentiment. Preliminary. It's preliminary. What What do you mean preliminary? What is it? I don't know. Why is it? Why is it preliminary? Why are you wasting your time for it? Preliminary. You're giving yourself a chance to lie. Is that it? <laughs> That's funny. Gee. <laughs> preliminary. What is the number? What do you have to hedge for? We can find out. Like what the? This is so. They've out democratized themselves here. Forget it. All right, I just bought the NASDAQ at 84 and three quarters. Three and three quarter handles out. I'm not freaking getting involved in any scenes today. I promise. I've got hope. I mean, <clears throat> uh, I, I put some new malware on your stuff, Richie, where I can boil your, your mouse up. 
Thank you. That would be good. <laughs> there we go. Nine forty-five. I want a W set up here, man, or something. Yeah. Well, and you know, they're what? What's your opinion that they're doing this, and then with that news, they're going to just shoot it straight up? It, it can, man. I mean, you know how it we're is. We're at the freaking bottom of the deck here, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, you know, at this at this juncture, uh, with the Fed deciding on interest. Oh, now they're saying, oh, June. Oh no, it doesn't look like June now. These they, they have lathered people up with this nonsense from for for weeks now, weeks. Mm-hmm. Weeks, uh, mm-hmm. two months, three months. How many? Mm-hmm. Oh, in twenty four, there's going to be. Remember this, folks. Six rate cuts. Six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then they went down to four, possibly. Then they went down to three. Yeah. Then they stayed at three for a bit. Then they went down at one or two. Then they went down to from March to June. And now they're saying no June. Now maybe September. I'm telling you, folks, you got to be nuts. You got to be nuts. Whew. You're right, Richie. I mean, really, it's it's criminal. It's criminal. <clears throat> big government, yeah, big government. More agencies, more rules, more committees. Yeah, that's a that's good. I think they should make Pinocchio do all the Fed speeches, so we can tell when they're not. Uh, Normally you tell because their mouth moves, but it might as well, right? Yeah. Here we go again, right around this 81 area, folks. This is the low for the day. 81 and a quarter. 81 is support and 76 is support underneath that. So let's see if there's any acceleration off of this number uh, again. There was acceleration up to the 86 level, 87 maybe, maybe even a little higher. Okay, and but then again, it's met met with distribution. Bottom Kelvin channel again, six, sixteen <clears throat> YM. Rallied last time from there on a YM. Yeah. Here we go, guys. It's doing better. Doing better. You long, Albert. You're quiet. No, 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 no. I'm not long. I'm 9.40. I'm waiting for a W set up or something. If not, I'll wait for 10 o'clock, you know, uh, 10, 10 o'clock. Right. You can have a re- big reversal, 10.30, man. So I'll wait, man. I've got to see some evidence that it's really going to go up and not. Oh, 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 oh. You're kind of you're kind of getting better. All right. I just bought YM here. I mean, it's just, I'm not going to, you know, just take it nice and easy near the bottom. I'm long YM at 22. NASDAQ's still creepy, but it, it can do it now, man. It, it's, it's, looks better. Middle count in the channel, up seven handles on 9, 11. Same move, folks, same move. Minus, come on. This is the day I, I, I really, I wasn't quick enough on a mouse to take those 10 handles. Off at a freaking table. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, 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 looking better, NQ. There goes NQ. Come on, baby. No, no, nope, got hit. That 100 might be good. Just went a little lower. Usually, you know, 20, 30 ticks below and then support the number. They did it yesterday, back 40. It just does that, man. Nasdaq trying here. Come on, Nasdaq. It's trying to. ES Dow coming down, so I don't trust it. Yeah. And Q moving up now, getting better. Yeah. ES establishing itself above that pivot area, that support area 81. You see some acceleration yeah. here. Nice. And they'll catch the shorts. Nice. NQ is looking better. I want a W set up. Let me draw it.
it is looking better. That may be it. <clears throat> Want to retest up that gap on the one minute, come back down, test that 100 again, and see. Maybe it for a minute, but YME is coming back down. YM is a, a dog of dogs. Dogs. The dogs. Oh, yeah, YM is looking crazy. Oh. Yeah, I'm long I, uh, YM and down 28 handles. Just trying to get short NASDAQ here. Creepy NASDAQ. Oh, man. There it is. Ah, missed it, man. Little more, but that little more always. Oh. Because of YM and ES, that's why. Yeah. Look, could be a higher low here, guys, to uh, test. Let's see. NVIDIA has rallied 10, 10 points in the last four minutes. Right, long in queue here. <clears throat> it can come down more, but I think it's gonna I think it's gonna go to the upside here in a minute. Let me see if we get a higher low to go now to get out of it. Long at 80 uh, at 105 chasing it now. Go you nerd. Go, 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 go. Chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. 105, there you go, 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 NQ, crazy freaking NASDAQ, go, go, chasing Good try. Good go, try. go, 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 you crazy freaking NQ, go, go, I'm at 105, oh, 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 20, we just got out. 105 to 25, baby. Ah, okay. nice job. Criminals. See the doubly set up that test. Dow started of taking off there. Higher low to 800 to 100. Remember, I said he needs to test 100. Boom, right off of it. Perfect doubly set up. I'm waiting to 945. <laughs> Richie, same play as yesterday. I think if we wait, man. Yeah. We got to have data for the morning. I mean, I keep getting caught in these freaking hellacious shorts. I know. I mean, I get out, I don't hold, but I don't know. It's like the slap in the face at the door when the girl answers the door. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? I don't know. Oh, my God. Uh, perfect. Nice trade. That's a beautiful trade, folks. Beautiful. Dude, and look, right back down. That's how you get the heck out. Take the money out, put it in the bank. See if it gives you evidence for continuation and... And uh, it, uh, ES coming down, probably new low here. So we'll see, man. Listen, the video is up on a day, okay? So, yeah, you, you know, thank you, Richie, because that, that homie's getting better. So that they, helped me. Yeah. They could change the complexion of this on a dime. Yeah. Thank, thank you, buddy, because that helped me analyze and say, okay, now videos shed 20 bucks. 10 bucks, it, it's, you know, it's looking good. Bottom counting the channel, NASDAQ. At 81, low, 81 level again on the ES contract. I just don't like the break of that middle leg on the way down. It's looking creepy. Long NASDAQ, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the dojis. Yeah, Rich, you didn't break the doji. Look, guys, I'll point to it. Lowest one right there. The baldy didn't break below that. You see the one, the black one, right here. Let me make this bigger. Oh, oh, it's coming down through. Oh, Rich, he's coming down through. Careful. Oh, it's still respected. It did the same thing yesterday. It, 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 it went through it a little bit, and then it took off to the north side again. Look, it tested it again. Bam. The yeah. body didn't close below. Yep. Almost did. Go, man. Go, go, go. Come on, push. What time is it? 9, 58, 44. 15 more minutes. I mean, uh, 50 more seconds. Go, man. I am acting better. Go, go, go. No, no, no. Go up. Up. Uh, break it. Three seconds. No. It barely is on it again. Oh, breaking through. Oh. Oh, go 30 handles. Criminal. Go. Go 30, man. Go. Nothing to see. Nothing to see down here. Man, it's 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 hovering. Oh, Dow's getting a bid. Here we go. Go, Dow. Go. Man, come on. Jeez, nothing to see down here. There it goes. Go, man, go. What? Oh. Oh, there it goes. Richie. Oh. Something's going on. News. Right? News. Todd, news. Uh, what, what, what do we got? Um, per, uh, oil, right? Consumer sentiment. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, consumer sentiment. Oh, you're getting a bid. Richie, you still in? Just, just sold it. Okay, good, good, good. Just in case. Just in case. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, bad. Bad. It did go up. Uh, point four, point four down from where they wanted. Yeah. So that's good for the market, right, Richie? I'm sorry? Since the sentiment's bad, it's good for the market? If the sentiment is bad, they'll be thinking. I mean, listen, you can't slice and dice this too much. But if the sentiment, if the sentiment is bad, you know, they'll, they'll spend less. Uh, they'll, they'll, it'll affect inflationary on a downward basis because they're spending less, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because what the inflation you're talking about are, you know, gas going up 30 cents, gasoline, you're talking about the price of food, you're talking yeah. about mortgage rates, you know, I mean, these oh, are nothing, the nothing big. No, of course. Oh, it's melting. Only what millions of Americans rely on day. Every day, every day. Every day. It's freaking melting, guys. Yeah. The only hope this has is Europe closed. Eleven thirty, man. I mean, it, it. You want to short? You got to short now. I mean, it broke again. you in February twenty third. ETH now extend the session fifty percent. Crazy. Getting into nitty gritty now, man. Low for the um, let me look at the uh, SPX. 5114. Oh my God. Oh, it's under trend. It broke the trend on the downside, guys. It could oh, go to man. gap. Oh. It could go to 55, 5086. We're at 14 above. 5100 breaks of that. It, it's not looking good today. We spoke about that 91 area, folks. Okay. 91, 92. Okay. Let me see the cues. We spoke about that this morning. Q's breaking down too. Yeah. You see it. Q's breaking through too. Remember, 440 was the number of the options shorting. It hit 440 to the tick. Look at this, man, at the open. 630 this morning. 
didn't break through boom push down <clears throat> have a meltdown and then options uh 330 uh, uh, uh rally man uh, uh with with options leaving if, if they're shorting which i would think they're short richie man it's getting pushed yeah. out too heavy hey listen i don't know all i know is i can tell you one thing boy i can tell you one thing and that is they could turn this stuff at a dime to me they're making everybody nice and comfortable here with the downside okay i'm just right to kill them yes don't get too comfortable with this action it could turn on a dime on a day like today and and my right. advice to everybody is to scalp scalp and put the money in the bank don't look for any long-range plays if they give it to you it's very possible if your entry is good that they could that they could give it to you and take advantage of it if they do but if yeah. they don't, play it tight to the best man you got that tito why well, am acting better yeah Why am it acting better? Bottom Keltner channel on the E on the uh, NQ, the nasty Nasdaq. And at 90, 90 MA is really well below the volume weighted average on a one minute on a YM on a YM and the ES. Uh, the distance uh, to the net from the Nasdaq is a little better. So Low for the day, down to 76 and a quarter. They're going down to 18,000, man. That's what it looks like, dude. That's what it ain't, dude, it, it, dude it, this is not looking good. You got support at 18, about 18, spot 75. If they blow through that, they're going all the way down, man. That's what that's what I think. That's what it looks like, Todd. It looks like they're gonna freaking kill this market, bro. Yeah, man. Like like right now. You may get bounces here and there, but maximum pain right here. It's breaking through bottoms, bottom keeps breaking through and through and through and through and through, you know. New low for the day. This is classic stuff, folks. Classic stuff. The cues break. That's not good, man. If these guys are short, man, on the short side, they uh they'll relieve at three thirty, man. Yeah. It'll take all day, but you're probably gonna get a bounce at the end. Well, new lows, new lows, sixty five, folks. Remember, we said if it breaks 91, oh, 91, that's right. Wow. Check out the BX. Wow. Look, man, it's due to melting. It could go to, uh, let me see ES here. Is melting now. Your next area, Richie, is what? 67? 65. 65? Yeah. We may get a bounce there, guys. Mm, 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 mm. 65, 68, 60, yeah. Major. 65 is major. Right, but YM is starting in and Q start oh, yeah. nice bounce and Q nice. at the bottom, Kelton the channel. Nice bounce, 72 and three quarters, 78 and three quarters. That's a nice bounce in this environment. That's the kind of play that you should be looking for today if you get it. But you you know, you you gotta have an A plus setup. And feel very confident about it because you don't want to get involved in any 
Algo Albert scene or Rich <laughs> Nasso's scene. You don't. I'm very happy being up three hundred and fifty dollars today. Let me tell you. Actually, three hundred. Actually, closer to four hundred. I'm very happy. I know. I know. I could just do not do another damn thing. Especially what I was through yesterday twice. By the way. Let's see, guys. We got to bounce here and go. Jeez, what time is That'd it? Be nice. Eight. That would be really nice. Looks yep. favorable. Yep. Here we go. Nasdaq. Oh. Tron. Yes. They just don't let these rallies. It's the same as we spoke about this morning. That's been consistent for the last couple of days. All right. They take level to level. They, they rally from a low, but they don't go anywhere. They, they just stay tight. Yeah, they're not letting it go, Richie. They're not letting yeah, that much go. That's, that's, go, go. that's uh, W set up here at 1015 and see, you may got a 1030 reversal. Yeah, and that's what it's looking like, man. Yeah. Oh man, guys, it's sitting up, man. Oh. Yeah. Oh oh. It's setting up. I scaled him long at seventy here, guys. At Nasdaq, I'm gonna. It may draw down, but I'm gonna start scaling in here, man. I'm. You know, I'm not saying. You know, what I'm saying. Foam mode in a little bit there. It's already up. Dow's going. Go, man. Dow, right up. Middle Keltner Channel, 09, on it. Yeah, man. Go. Make me come back, clear that gap first. 70, 80s. Yes. Got a good wick going on there. NASDAQ, 60 or so. It may just go with that beat up. I'm already up on the trade, but I'm trying to. I'll put a stop here. Plus, there it goes. Yes. There it goes. Woo! Nerd, go. Get up there. Nice. Yeah, maybe it there, man. Go. Why am at the same time? I'm out. Got in at 71. Go, man. Nice. Go. go, yes. I couldn't. I'm not as I'm not as qualified as Albert. Albert's still in this pig. Get up there. Oh, look at this. Oh, why am uh, I was I'm killing it. it now? Man. Killing it. Go. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Great trade. Awesome. 62, 96, 95, 75. Beautiful. I got 21 on it, and you did better than that, Bob Bunch. Yeah, brother, they, they, they're 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 buying it here, guys. They, they're they're definitely definitely got in the market there. You need a pullback, and you should uh, see some buys coming in the market. <coughs> pullback, uh, Nasdaq, hopefully sixty eight or so. You know, ES the fifty percent of that move, guys. You could put a fib on it. ES seventy eight or so will be nice. If Richie's eighty, you know. Kind of deal. Um, there's a pullback here. Great. Let's go a little long, a little, little, little more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in another one here if, if I can get it. Seventy, come to seventy, maybe or so. It may not, man. It beat up, so yeah. It's there's a better, there's a, a better tone to the market here. No, no doubt about it. Let's see. Oh, come on, don't go yet. Yes. Freaking Dow still going. Come on, push down. Give me 80, maybe 78. I'm going to put one in here. 82. 
go. I'm going to try to hold this one for a minute. Maybe break of the leg at 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 86. Come up to uh, on ES Richie's 92. Creepy Nasdaq break of 01 even. Hopefully up to the 27 above. Go man. Still stuttering. You can come down still to, to uh, 68 now. It's like, oh God, I got to mute the freaking phone. Can you hear it? Yeah, in the background. It's no big deal, man. Not Leave a big deal. On. Okay, I'll stay. Leave it along. Leave it, it on the recording. Go, you nerd. Break of even. Good break of even will be nice. Back to uh, 28 above NASDAQ. Go. Go. Yes. Go. You nerd. Go. I'm chasing it. Me I'm too. chasing it. Oh, you got it in? Good. I 83. I I, I bought at 83. Oh, I, perfect. Perfect. I'm at 80, uh, 80, 80, 225. Go, man. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes. Break up this leg. Oh, don't get me up. I'm, I'm, my stop is at 91. I'm chasing it. 93. I'm chasing it underneath. Here's the even. Break of this. Let's go. Creepies. Go, 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 NASDAQ, go, go, go. Go, go now. Go, 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 chase it, chase it. Go. Oh, got me out. That's a beautiful trade, man. Awesome. Go. Yeah, bro. And I'm doing it. LPQ, it. baby. Who's here? It. Who's here? Come on. LPQ, baby. LPQ. Guys, uh, whoever's not here is missing a hell of a show. I got my tattoo. Wait till I show it to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can afford it now. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 that, that is good stuff. Uh, that is a break of the. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. God. Listen, oh I'll, go, my God. I'll go Albert's day today, folks. Let me oh tell my you. Yeah, 945. It's my, it's my <laughs> a half hour, two major trades. Beautiful. It's my new time, Richie. Making 945 kind of gives you which way. You know, I, I don't want to guess, man. And I'm getting into it early. At least oh, me. look at it. Oh. Look at it, dude. Break of even. It's headed to 30, 32. First, you got to contend with 13. Then, then, then 28, 75. There's your 13 coming up. Oh, my God. Lord, <clears throat> help us. Beautiful YM. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. that was the low, baby. That's the that was low. it. That was well, it. Yeah. Uh, YM. Uh, YM. Top, top count in the channel. YM. Come on 62. back then. Come on. Two. 62. Now, right. now, you know, let's not, you know, remember option expiration. You got to be careful. They can slam it again. You know, that kind of deal. Let's check the EMAs. Criminals. Yes, on the 50. Right nudged against it, Nasdaq. Yes, yep. yes, uh, passed it barely, but you know what I'm saying. Dow took off. That would freaking give you a hundred handles on the turnaround, man. See, here's a push down. It's not negative, but you're still dealing with things. Love hate relationship kind of deal with Nasdaq. Oh, mine's mine's more of a hate hate. Look at hit 13, 14, got pushed down. You see what I'm saying? Content to just look to your history on your on your one minute, and it tells you all the little spikes, man. It's gonna yeah. that's why they go down on those spikes because yeah. there's orders there, guys. So just you know, kind of keep yourself grounded, just looking back and Richie's levels. Forget it. You go to ES and check them out, man. I mean, there's, there's just nothing better. Hello, you're 81, you're 80. Look at it. 91, 92. Look at that. Don't forget that's where that's where yeah. they puke. Yeah, bro. Your 80 there was beautiful. It take below, but it doesn't matter, guys, because it, it gives you double bottom. It does that, extends, but uh you just gotta take it, you know. If you watch all three, it gives you evidence that hey, it's gonna come up. Wait for the W, wait for the break of the W looks nasty on ES like this, but uh, let me see if I can paint it really quick so you can kind of see it. It's a beautiful W on the break right here at uh, 82. Give you a little pullback, boom, took off pulling back again. It should give you this 92.25. Let me see. Go. 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 Go.
going to I'm going to refill my sink. I'll be right back. Me too, dude. I'm going to get my rum. Dude, everybody should be good. Um, my God, this was like what a, oh my God, what an awesome day, man. Awesome day, right? Wow. Beautiful trades, man. Wow. There you go. It's trying to push up ES. Gives you that Richie's 92, 90, 9225 right there. That gap is, man. Now it's littered with gaps, guys. If you look at this, I mean, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? It's nasty. It's green. It can come back to that and fill that in. You know, so you push them back. Tito, I hope you got some of that, man. She's pulling back some. Why am pulling back some? That's normal. Normal deal there. It should. It looks like it wants to push up. PS is going. YM is going. Nasdaq's muted a little bit. I gotta get new glasses, bro. I'm blind. Oh my gosh. Tito's having a blast. There you go, man. Yeah, Tito. Tito. He understands the market, man. He he trades uh, uh indice. Uh, he trades stocks. Oh, cool. So he he's got a good handle on it, man, and he loves this. He's gonna he's gonna do very good. He'll uh, be a rock star, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna do he's gonna do very well. I know he is, man. Yeah, man. He's in the right place. Yeah, brother, you are. It's a Christian fellow too. Loves the Lord, and that's cool. Yeah, you should get a push up here, guys. Uh, you know, pull back up to fifty percent. Give you a bigger W. Um, here you can throw a fib on it and say, well, we're 50 percent just, you know, from high to low in this recent here. It's Nasdaq 50 at 70 or so. It went down to it and pushed. And it's looking like it wants to. So as it doesn't break this center leg here, you should be good. ES now pushing up. There it goes. Here it goes. Beautiful. There it goes, guys. It's going. When it's been beat up and it starts to push, now it doesn't, you know, that first, that first at 77, 25 to 50 was 70. I mean, is that 77? I can't even. 77 to 50 was 71. Is that my reading this right? I think. So NASA like just a little, it just extends, man. Sometimes it, it, you know, you just got to get it. And if you're trading NASDAQ. It's contending with this order block here. That's what you're seeing there. Consolidation from here got pushed down the first time here. It's coming back up here. It's contending with that. Absorbing all the shorts here. If it can do that, it'll break through. If it can't, it can come down. The shorts will get in, push it down again, sell. And that's what makes it bounce. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Todd, you got it? Yeah, buddy. Oh, okay. You're a real estate guy, too. That's cool, man. <clears throat> awesome. Oh, I, I get it, man. Me and my wife are decorative artists, so we did 90% of ceiling work, plaster trowel, plasters, and that kind of stuff. And I'll be 60 in November, Lord willing, and, and double rotator cuffs, carpal tunnel, hernia surgeries, all that stuff. So the Lord showed me this about four and a half years ago. Then I got to meet Albert, and then I got to meet Richie. And uh, you're in the right spot, man.
Yep. Yeah. I'm ready. All right, buddy. But I'm tired of hard labor kitchen, bathrooms, and floorings. Okay, Tito, good. You've come to the right place. You know, uh, days like day, like today, folks, these are difficult days. The week has been difficult. We've had a terrific week here, okay? And I am so proud of this product that we have put out there. So proud of a day like today, okay? A day like yesterday and a day before. And we're still standing on our feet, okay? That's right, Richie. I'm not kidding either. And I'm not pushing and, and puffing anything up here at all. These are the facts, man. These are the facts. You're seeing it. All right? Nobody's running from any of this. You know, our philosophy here, there is no market that we can't handle. There is no situation that we can't handle. There is no time frame that we can't handle. Period. <clears throat> Yeah, Richie, the thing is, man, <clears throat> anybody on our team that joins that's in this room, they, they get to see a real trading room with, with, with a veteran trader from the floor and the pit. And I mean, where, where else can you get this, man? And the integrity that you have and, and the opinions you give and stuff, man, it's, it's priceless. It really, really is. I'm not just blowing smoke up your skirt. I, I believe that a hundred percent. Yep. Well, thank you. So do I. No, no, you don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't like all the kudos and stuff, but that's okay. No, I, I don't. I mean, I appreciate it, but, no, I don't. but yeah, but you know, I, don't. I, I, I am here for one mission. All right. We are here to teach people and to put a product out there that does not exist in any way, shape or form. And really nothing comes close you could have these characters out there. Oh, we're going to make 50 or 100 handles. We've had a couple a couple of them. We almost did a partnership with one of them. You know what? Let, let them make us 50 or 80, 100 handles. That's great. How many times are you going to do that? We're constantly at it, constantly at it. You know, the more you try, the, you don't set up a, a, a situation where you set up to make 100 handles, okay? You could, okay, you could do anything you want, but but there comes a lot of risk with that. When you start out to make 100 handles, there's a lot of risk. Why? Because you can lose 100 handles too. Absolutely. You know, and, and, and that's really it. You know, I started out uh, with this new methodology uh, with the charts that uh, have been developed here in LPQ, all proprietary in nature, by the way. Thank heavens we got away from Karen. We would never have this opportunity uh, to have a proprietary product uh, that is proven under all and the adverse conditions on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? On a day-to-day -day basis. And these people out there that, you know, want to make 50 or 100 handles at a time, I mean, good. Let them make it. Let them make it. But there's a lot of risk that comes with that, folks. And don't think there isn't. There is. That's okay? right. There's a Dow guy out there that puts these uh, puts. There's a Dow guy out there that has a nice following for himself. Probably a nice man, a veteran. But let me tell you something. I'm not being involved myself personally. I would never be involved in a room where my motivation is to start out making a hundred handles. I would never do that. Why? Because everybody can't handle the pain. That's why. And why would you want to handle the pain if you could be, the idea is to be as painless as possible. That's the idea. Right. Painless. Well, when you start out <clears throat> thinking that every trade, <clears throat> you're, you're entering a trade as a scalp, Richie. And then like Albert says, he's chasing it, you know, and he just got what, 25, 30 handles on one trade, but it started out as a scalp. Well, if he was trying to get a hundred, it came back on him. 40 so he would be down so yeah I, I, listen I, I love what we have 
and, and I think it's a great deal. Uh, have you guys ever thought about live seminars? $300 a head for a live trading two-day seminar. Yeah, we thought about things like that. I mean, an offspring of that is to do a live session uh, that we're going to do. Uh, we don't have a date yet, but we're going to do a live session and just expose the session to YouTube. Live session. Can we, uh, Todd, can we, can we hold up? Can we do a live session for 8 to 12 on, on YouTube? Is that possible or no? I, I don't know if you can do it that long. The last guy I saw, he he did it for like an hour. Right. A day for, you know, like from 8 to 9 or 9.30 to 10.30, something like that. But I, I don't know if you can, you can do it that length of time or not. Well, you know what? We don't have to do it. We don't have to do it for that length of time. We could do it for an hour. And that would yeah. be even more than fine. Now, people are not going to – I mean, I don't, I don't know. Let's, let's see what Albert thinks. I think we can get Walmart and Senka to sponsor it. Without a doubt. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> we could all wear our Walmart bowling shirts with the Senka logo on it. <laughs> there you go. We have all the bases covered. Oh my God. <coughs> oh man. Let me go grab something to drink. Go, go get them. Buy, flip, and fix. Yep. I'm back. Okay, good, good. Oh, I'm back, baby. Yep. Holding here, huh? I see. Yeah, I mean. Oh, it, yeah, I was getting a bit. Yeah, it looks like it wants to go. I think so. Uh, yeah, I I think the market is stabilized. NVIDIA is up six bucks. All right, it's the only uh, uh, Tesla's up 28. Yeah, Tesla, good. You know, uh, any of you Tesla fans out there, probably a, probably a buy here, Tesla. Put it away for a month or two. Be back at two hundred. Uh, I was just telling the people before you were away when you were away that yes. how, how proud I am of the fact that we can it we 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 have the today alone. But the whole week, it's been a very difficult week. We have had a very good week here, okay? Yeah, and I'm so proud of the fact that we can navigate any market, any market. I mean, any market. I don't. Yeah, Richie, I, I, I am very proud about that too. Uh, I am, I am, very proud of the fact that we all met. That we're we're learning from you know our methods, but we're learning a lot from you, man. You're. Uh, what yeah. you tell us about the imminent works of the markets do help. You look at a vast majority of things, a, 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 a vast majority of things, and um, um, in that you're right. That's a good point because the market will get easier in a sense where it starts to do great like patterns, and that is going to be a piece. Well, we don't want some piece of cake, but it's going to be easier, without a doubt. You know, you navigate the, the the craziness. You'll be able to trade the market. But, you know, the flexibility that we show as a unit, as a trading room, there is nothing like it out there. Nothing. No. Nothing comes close. Okay. I defy any of these rooms to say they made money every day this week. Okay. I defy them. Yeah. I defy them. And and that's all I got to say. And yeah. I've seen some things on YouTube where people are caught in some crazy trades. And I'm like, man, we're in that same trade and we did well, you know? Yeah, it's a bad. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. Not only uh, it, it, it's not only figuring out what to trade, it's the entry level, and it's how you manage it after the entry level. There are a number of factors involved in this stuff. It's yeah. not just close your eyes and and buy something, uh, even if you think it's the right area. No, it's not just that. You're right, buddy. You're absolutely right. 
I mean, you know, uh, I was asking Todd when you were away if he thinks, you know, I mean, we talk about do a session on uh, YouTube, okay? Uh, and we should put this on for next week. But it, it, I don't think it could be four hours, maybe maybe an hour. You pick out live. Yeah, an hour is fine. You know? Yeah. yeah. And I, yeah. you know, maybe uh, 10 to 11, say. I, I mean, I don't know. It shouldn't be the afternoon. Let's say 10 to 11. Pick a date. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. 10, 10 to 11. Um, How much time do we need to promote it? That's the thing. Right. We need to probably maybe midweek, uh, uh, Richie, we can do it. So we can have maybe Monday and Tuesday to kind of put it out there, make sure people are. Right. So uh, how about Wednesday the 20th? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, Wednesday the 20th, 10 to 11, live on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah, man. The 20th, let me see. And I'll mention it today on my interview. And I'll, all right, are we good with that? Uh, yeah, let me, I'm checking. What do we consider Thursday? I'm on funeral Wednesday. Let's do uh, that's FOMC statement. We might not want to do Wednesday because it is crazy. That's okay. FOMC this uh, 20th. Okay, so Thursday the 21st will make it. Okay. Yeah, the 21st because, right. you know, we don't want to, you know, that's, that's very dangerous and we want to keep it kind of, I mean, although, you know, you got PMI, that whole week is freaking crazy. But anyways, let's do it. All right, 10 to 11 on Thursday the 21st at Tito. Yes. One hour. And uh, we're still in touch with the whole Trade Zero roster yeah. of people. Oh, yeah. Keep it up with them. We have to keep it up until Trade Zero finally is able to trade futures. It looks like it wants to go north here, man. Yeah, that the whole complexion has changed. NVIDIA is up over 10. Yeah. Can probably buy Meta here. I, I, I'm not doing anything. Yeah. You know, now the complexion has changed. Let's. Well, let's use this time to see if there's any normalcy to to the moves uh, like we've been seeing. There's a yeah. plenty of plenty of uh, buy imbalances showing up on a dome on an NQ dome. Serious buy imbalances. Okay. Yes, so, what does that mean to oh, me? Oh, there it goes. Oh and my God, Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Look at those buy imbalances on a dome. Show it. Oh, there, there, there it is. Look at that dome, folks. Look at it. Look at the dome, Tito. Look at that dome light up like a Christmas tree. So there's your break of NASDAQ to 30. Remember, we're coming up, break of even. Okay, break of 14. Or, nah, I forgot what it was. I, yeah, 4, 11, 10 at the time, the wick here, 13. Break of 27. Now the next break, 37. Next break, consolidation at the open, 50. So all that. The market doing this definitely turning around. That's why my new time to trade is nine forty-five. So I don't want to get caught up on on a downside. It gives you fifteen minutes to kind of get some data in. So there's Tito. If you can watch that this dome and all the, I usually watch ES because it's just cleaner here. You know, it gives you specific points, and they all follow each other. And you see ES and Dow going. That's that's gonna follow. So, where does uh, EFSI stand? I mean, this is the longest freaking drawn out thing I've ever seen. Where does that stand? Do you know? It's they they sent out an email today about what they're doing again, and it's just it's it's on the on the balls in the court of the guy overseas because we told him, oh, okay, I cleared it up. Now I know he's overseas. Any afternoon is good with us. Yeah, like but, they want to have a meeting or whatever, but we can set it up. I write him an email and say, hey, let's set it up for whatever date he, he chose, some dates <clears throat> and some times. Yeah, just uh, yeah. let's do it whatever afternoon. Yeah. Well, all right. Send another email to that guy. Say, okay. we're, I will. we're waiting on you. Or do, do we need, do you need anything else from us? We're okay. Our time is good and stop messing around. Please. Yeah. 
Can't stand it. If people want to get something done or they don't, they want to make money or they don't. That's yeah. it. Yep. You don't want to make money, fine. That's fine. We'll just go away. That's it. You did got beautiful consolidation there to push up again. It looked like it was going to push up to me too. No, no breaks. Uh, didn't even come down and get this uh, opened up little FVG. Fair really get down here in a minute. It the video up, up. up 15. Yeah, that NVIDIA is doing that, guys. NVIDIA, SMCI is coming back to even. That's telling you the market's, you know, headed up. You know, they took out everybody and they're headed up. NVIDIA, SMCI. Taiwan semis down too, but, you know, it's coming up too. It's just telling you the market's changing. rishi has been saying that. It looks different. Send, it looks like it's changing. It looks whatever, whatever. So, Definitely got a change of tone there in the market. Now, if you missed those plays, then you got to wait for a pullback, maybe one minute again, do your fib. May not get down here, but, uh, you know, NASDAQ probably is 21 or so. It pushed all the way up to 52. So 25 is the play on that from even the 52. Half of that's 25. So, you know. You know, folks, once, once, once you get too comfortable with a trend in a market, uh, in an intraday trend, uh, with a with a uh, a strong move either way, once you get too comfortable with that, and you're starting to feel like it's all over, okay, and they keep ta they keep taking it down in your face, you have to, on especially on a day like today, you just have to think that at some point that this this is going to change, and that's why failed breakdowns don't work. Okay, it took a while, and it was uh, testing. We made numerous positive trades along the way, and yeah. it did look like it was changing its tone, but we spoke about it. So. Are you right? We spoke about it. Yep. Now, it looks good, Richie. It looks like the one side, the top side there. So. <clears throat> Looks nice. Dow ES running. So the top side NASDAQ should follow. <clears throat> Is your NQ getting a bid, chasing it up? Beautiful. NASDAQ wants to break this. It's all consolidation here. So it's a big order block here, guys, if you notice. You know, you're talking about all consolidation there, all those wicks. It's having problems there. If you draw an order block there to kind of tell you. See it ticked up right to it. Boom, it's even pushed down. Hopefully closes the gap to up. But check your EMAs. Make sure, you know, you're at the 100 here. It can, it can come back down, guys. It don't have to get to the 200. One of these will make it, you know, Two where it's going to push down. Check all three. You know, see, it's looking looking top heavy there. It's looking like it pushed up and they're pushing it down again. So be aware of that. Once it goes that a couple, you know, two, three times and you missed it, I don't know if I would FOMO this last one. So market is negative. It flipped negative, but let's see. Doesn't look bad yet. Trying to break the order block. You see that? But from down here, when you're getting the turnaround, it's just more potent, you know, more powerful because you got all kind it's turning, people get out, people jump in, market moves, right? <clears throat> you're getting up at the higher level here at the open, per se. Is getting to it that's a good trade too into order block open here Remember, market open in this section so now you know you have the top side of the day session so it can it can get hit because if they're playing 
the range up and down. Remember, it broke range on the bigger time frames, broke trend, I should say, from the trend line. So you got to be careful. Look at your XPX, still down 19, but <clears throat> that trend is going to be resistance. Fill, filled up gap, the gap it made, it filled it all up. Still positive, anybody broke it, but <clears throat> it ain't wheels falling off just yet. You wanted to hit this one down here, it would be perfect. And they're looking at the one even lower than that. They're looking at this big one here. For more of a bigger move for gaps. Gap fill. We got to watch this one. <clears throat> you can see it's hit trend, trend all the way up, man. It did break a little bit there. Boom. Went out. Bam. Gapped up. Gone. Right? Made this gap here. That's so they're watching it. Little one here, but big one down here. See, it tends to close them. See, it's got gaps all in between here. It tends to close them up. That's what these are not painted anymore. These two are left. All-time high cycle deal where it needs to come down the gap and then continue, you know, middle summer push, you know, that kind of more of a longer range type deal. <clears throat> where is Waluka? Where are you, Waluka? Oh, she, uh, she spoke to me this morning. She's taking a break today because, oh, my gosh, she's so funny. She said, it's a sunny day out here, no rain. She said, Romania, and she's like, uh, it's 11 degrees. I was like, um, I would die. <laughs> She's like, but it's a nice day. I'm like, I, I, it's usually, you know, minus 20. I get it. <laughs> I'm like, I, Raluca, I would die. I, I, I wouldn't know what to do. I, I think 30 degrees kills me. <laughs> it's just in the summer, there's 30 degrees. So it gives you an, an idea what, you know, they deal with over there. Beautiful country. Beautiful people. So it's a blessing too, Richie, right? You just know people all around the world and oh yeah. That you're helping somebody in Romania, man. You know, yeah. like you're yeah. And she did yeah. very well. She did pre-market, killed it. Love it. The Europe push in the middle of the night. That's her morning. Yeah, yeah, there you go. She freaking killed it, dude. I'm yeah. so proud of her being she's like she's like Laura, you know? Yeah. yeah. Very proud of her, man. She's learning how to trade, Richie, man. She's killing it all, all the other side of the world. Amazing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm back, I'm back now. Woo! What a ride today. Yeah, great trading, guys. Yeah, man. I don't know. I I, I I got a feeling they're going to come for these things. All right. I got a feeling they're going to come for these things and just all of a sudden erase all the downside and just relentlessly come for these things. We'll see. I mean, I, it could, Richie. Yeah. I yes. mean, uh, it just you're looks right. like the double, the fix is in. No, you're right. I mean, I don't know. We'll see, of course. We always wait to see, all right? But that 52, uh, 30 range, it will be a magnet on the way up. It was, it was a magnet on the way up, and it was support on the way down, and it's still a magnet on the way up, 29 to 31. I just got a feeling, but you know what? I don't trade on feelings. We don't do that. <clears throat> you wanna be a swing trader? Trade on feelings, great. We don't trade unless we have an edge. We are the house. The house yes. always has an edge. And that's what we consider ourselves, the house. AMD up five bucks plus. There you go, you're getting a push again. All right, the, the sell-offs have been met with buying. The sell-offs, the, the the sell-offs were met with distribution. The rallies were short for an hour and a half. What is it? <clears throat> the rallies were shorter. They were distributing in, selling into every rally. All right? Down 15 handles, up four, sell into it. And, you know, down 10 handles, up three, sell into it. All for an hour, an hour and a half, however yes. long it was. Yes. 
And now that that <laughs> this changed, yeah. You know, all of a sudden, they start flipping through fifty two hundred. <clears throat> that the uh, criminals, i.e., the unwinders of this OPEX OPEX exploration, will probably put some more money to work. All right, this slow kind of movement here is good stuff for that mentality. Look at this. Here you go. Here you wow. go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. You did. Look at that. Oh, didn't even get the words out. Oh, you didn't get the words. Can you oh. hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Oh my God! Look at the look at the blue uh, blue devil buy imbalances on a nasty Nasdaq dome. Nasty Nasdaq dome. Look at the nasty Nasdaq dome up there, Albert. I see it. Look at that! All those blue dots are buy imbalances. Look at this! I love it. I, I mean, you didn't get the words out. Go back to VWAP. Yeah, man. Now you're at the 200 EMA now, guys. Remember order block. Now went over there, testing the highs for just a day session here. It's where we drew down from. You got to be careful here now. Yeah, absolutely. I am not. Yeah. I'm not shorting this stuff. No way. I don't have to do another thing today. I'm. I'm very content being up. <coughs> I'm very content. After, especially after yesterday, especially after a day like we're in here with an option expiration with the kind of volatility we have had. Okay. Yeah. But they could pin these shorts against the wall. That's what I'm thinking. You're right. Yeah. Beautiful push back to, you know, open range. And, you know, we got the bottom. You could have held. Runner, great. Um, I hit that pretty hard, so you know we're good, man. I'm good too, man. I don't want to yep. expiration today. I don't want to mess nothing up because it can it can come down pretty hot, hot, hot. <clears throat> look at your on 200 the, EMA chart, guys. If you got that set up on your system, look 200 on ES, 200 NQ, 200 YM. That's where you got to be careful. That's where I would exit any trades if, if I was long. Today, I didn't see what I'm saying. Look at, look, look I was getting hit. <clears throat> look at all the reds up there, too, man. Geez, that area is open, but you got to be careful. I'll do that again for the video. Look at your YM 200, NQ 200, ES 200, EMA there. Listen, yeah. if the buy side is right here, this this uh, back off from 201 is going to stop here, and they're going to come on again. If if the painter the picture uh, we're painting is correct, am I buying? No. Am I shorting? No. No, and no. But that's what usually happens, and that will tell me that my summation is. And here you go. That tells me I need to get another Sanka. Oh, heavy drinker. <clears throat> Sank it out. Sank it out. <laughs> Purity coffee, folks. Purity. Oh, my God. Sank it out. Even traders got to shout. Hmm. <clears throat> We're here, guys. Nice to have you here. And, uh, and man, I'm excited. Excited today, man. Yeah, absolutely. Whoever's not on this session today has missed a really good show. Yeah. It's a really good show. Sorry, that was my... No, bro, you're right. That was my impersonation. Of, uh, yeah, of, uh, what's his name? Oh, I had his... It's Sullivan. Oh man, I it's, just went brain dead. Itchy. What? Not Sullivan. No. Ed Sullivan. What about him? The guy had no talent. He had no personality. <laughs> he was uncomfortable in his own skin. But you know, the guy produced an incredible show that people forget it. 
Very smart. I'm surprised there's not another show like that on, on TV as we speak. Have that kind of talent one night. But these people want too much money to do that. So. There we go. It's another move. Bounce off to 98, 97 and a half, 98. You guys there? I'm here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can't hear nobody now. Oh, 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 this is actually good action at the calm near, yeah. the, top, near the top of a move up, you know? Yeah. Remember, I showed you the 200, the EMAs. That's where it gets wonky. And needs to break through that for continuation. And look how it's getting hit. You got some gaps down here in NASDAQ. Of course, ES will have the same. You have the lines on ES. You got a little gap there, a little gap downstairs, too. So all that matters, guys. All that beautiful W freaking set up on that bounce, Richie. Yeah. Your levels are freaking. I can't great. hear anybody. What? Can you hear me? No. You're creepy. Don't make no sense. And, and come back. It's your end, Todd. Exit and come back. Oh, God, he's going to wipe out the church. Oh, he did. <laughs> Exit and come back if you can hear us. Tito, do you hear me? Okay. I just, I can't hear yeah, Robert can, Richie. That's weird. Yeah, we can hear you. <clears throat> Okay, the low account in the channel on one minute on my one minute NQ chart, all right, is the volume weighted average is right against the low account in the channel. And that's why you make no sense. Why, why can't I hear you guys? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna exit again and, and come back in and see. Y'all are just completely gone. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Tucker is having some issues. Yeah, that's where the 200 EMA comes to play, guys. It's the average for the 200 days, so it's pretty strong. <clears throat> like he says, goes back to average. You know, once the volume weighted average, all the averages type of the all right, so it's it, it's pretty strong. Meaning that you want to purchase price away from that as much as possible. You don't want to get in here. Oh, I'm going to go along here. Well, you know, it might go the other way. It might continue, but you want to buy the stretch, the, the stretch price against that those averages. You don't want to buy a price, normal price. You want a discount. You want to sell at a premium. You know, that kind of deal. Every everybody loves a discount. Black exactly. Friday, they love a discount. Exactly. So, see, that's why for for us, you know, watch these averages good. And because of that, see, it didn't break through and continue. Well, that's that's dangerous. You gotta, I wouldn't, I'd be out of the trade. To tell you the truth, or or lighten it up. You can do a runner to the end of the day if you want to. Today it's kind of wonky, but. 11 o'clock, Europe will start using the tail to get out. And look, look how it's getting hit, man. Well, forget this 91, 92 area is support. Yeah. 91, 92 support. Yeah. Let me mark some areas here now that I've been through it. I see. Let 
1992-25. There it is. That's there. I am coming down. Mm -hmm. Middle Keltner Channel, 74, 73. Middle Keltner Channel. 91.25. This is later down here with stuff made 9050. So that's what's kind of dangerous to 9050. See this gap here? Looks like it wants that gap. I'm not gonna paint anything else. Let me see downstairs. 86. Eighty-four fifty. There you go. Yep. That's just your gaps on the area. The ones that I look at the most, like Richie's area, got a big gap here. You're ninety-two. Exactly what he said. That's something I would watch. There's three little areas there that I made, so it could visit that pretty quickly here. Yeah, the dome is getting very thin. In yeah. other words, uh, players have had their bets placed or they're not willing to place any bets here. And so the dome is thin on the NQ. All right. When the dome is thin, uh, it means it could mean, uh, you know, that you're going to you could get a downdraft or you could get an updraft. So the liquidity is thinned out uh, in the NQ when the dome is thin. OK. So that means if they want to go up, they're going to take it go up more than you think. They want to go down, they can go down more than you think. If there's no players, it's the same thing. It's like yeah, trading. The, uh, yeah, it's like right. it's like trading a thin stock. That's why you don't trade thin stocks. You got to be out of your mind. Music stops. There's no buyers. Music stops. There are no sellers, and that's it. And it, and it's the insiders who know what's going on uh, on that, and they rig it. You know, you rig those stocks, so it's dangerous, man. When the dome is thin, you don't win. Hey, oh, I like that, Albert. <laughs> oh, Todd, are you back? Can you hear me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I, I, Can you hear I, us? Yeah, I, I think I blew my speakers on my on my computer. Dude, you, you freaking are loud now. Am I? Hang on. Yeah, and you're a little... uh. Well, I'm on a I'm on a headset. I've never used one before. Okay, well, just talk nice and soft, like either you're you're a little yeah. soft guy anyway. Of course, yeah, nice of course. yeah, you tend to want to speak louder when you're on a headset because you think that for some reason, you know, it's not nobody's hearing you. Here we go again. Trish is 92, 92, baby. <clears throat> Telling you, man. Look, look, guys, EMAs. EMAs, man, look. Back down. Get bottom Keltner. Oh nine. Bottom Keltner. YM. Middle Keltner. Oh, right there. Oh nine. Come on down. One more time. One more time. I ain't buying it here. I'll buy out. I'll buy. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Beautiful. This is just beautiful, man. Long Nasdaq, nine and three quarters. Four handles, I don't care. Daylight today, I don't care. Four handles. Is that okay with everybody to make lunch money? Nine and seven eighths, nine and three quarters, 14 and three quarters. Nice. Five handles. That's lunch money. That's gas money. That's how let me know. It, hey, let me know if I'm talking too loud, okay? So I don't blow you guys out. No, you're good. Okay. You're good, man. Dude, it's bouncing off the 50%, the RTH 50% on NASI. Let me see. Yep, 
Yeah, that's a that's a level to contend with, man. Right at the bottom, Keltner again. Is it another buy off the bottom? I don't know. I don't know. Resting a little bit now. So, Why tell me, yeah. What do, what do you think is going to happen for um, Europe leaving then? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't, I don't think much. Okay. Remember, twelve thirty now. Yeah. It could be muted, man. I mean, they uh, definitely they everybody got short, right? Like at the open has been doing that, short the open, and then they buy it. I saw another one that was six friends going to school. There was a seven shadow with them. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good, Nathan. Kill! It's it's unbelievable that she can hear them. Oh yeah. My dogs are so social; they think everybody comes to see them. I love They're, it. Here we go again. Let's see what happens. ES contract coming down to the support area. Uh, NQ coming down right at the uh, counter, uh, bottom level, bottom support area. My three minute bar chart. YM hangs tough. Oh, 06 <clears throat> the channel that rallied off of rallied 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 come on market rip rip sell orders showing up on the nasdaq dome mm -hmm. gave you another trade right there okay oh nine right up at this level 20 gave you another trade i didn't take it my hand was on the mouse but i did not take it yeah it's getting a little muted here yeah Yeah, this is uh, amateur hour going on now. People who are people who are over trading, trying to figure this out. It's not a place you can try to continue to figure it out. But until it, until whatever you're figuring it commutes to a computes to a uh, an advantage, that's another story. Why I'm coming down, resting on the middle Keltner channel, 81, 80. Now you got to watch because if the, if the ES breaks the 91 area, you know, you got to change in venue for now. Why I'm bouncing off the middle Keltner channel, resting there. ES contract stops 91, 91 and a half, 92, 91, 92 area, stopping. NQ. <clears throat> Every, everything's dependent on the uh, ES contract right here, mm -hmm. folks. <clears throat> yeah, you're having a <clears throat> meltdown. There's a beautiful short from that 200, man. Yeah, breaks 91. Oh, YM yeah. breaks the middle Keltner. NQ resting on the bottom Keltner channel. 04 ish. Let's see if the ES contract puts on a rally from here. If it does, 
maybe long long situations to consider. Just keep an eye on the ES contract here. Two minute ES just spoke to just spoke to the bottom Keltner channel. Let's see. Let's keep an eye. A little a little red bar showing up. YM's toughening up here. All has to do with the ES contract at this at these levels that we speak about. Every damn move here. There it is. There it is. And there it is, folks. <clears throat> yeah. Even on the NASDAQ, little bounce there, of course. <clears throat> Rinse and repeat. <clears throat> nice, even NASDAQ bounce. Just more conservatively, guys, I would wait for a repeat of uh, maybe the downstairs. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the gap here in NASDAQ. Okay, the first gap out of the way. Cool. But it's got another one downstairs. Maybe I will consider this one before, if, you know, if you're looking for a long instead of the center there. But it could be, it could, it could bounce from here. There it goes. Talking about it, and it's freaking bouncing pretty hot. Oh my God! Uh, there you go. Look at that, dude. Bounce off that eighty-nine and a half, which was lined up with the bottom Keltner channel. Yeah, maybe, but, maybe yeah. two handles above the bottom Keltner channel got to. Beautiful. Yeah, man, that's good. Look at that. Then I rally up to 94, and then all of a sudden they take it back in your face. That's why you got to take it off. If you would have gotten a long down there on a day like today, you take it off and keep banking the money that they give you. Yeah. This is Definitely. a tough, difficult day. Yeah. Not easy. We're all green here, folks, just for the record. We're all green. I know Todd Craner is green, and I certainly know Albert is green. Yeah. yeah. And I obviously know I'm green. You know what? I don't, again, I don't, I'm not, you know, it's nice to be in this position. You don't want to overtrade in this crap, okay? You just don't. Yeah. Twenty middle Keltner channel. Three minute bar chart. <clears throat> YM up against the middle Keltner chart, backed off of it. ES floating around this 91 92 area. That's why everything is stalled here. Another assault coming. Who knows? Ninety nine bottom Keltner. Also a, a, a double bottom, by the way. So that would be an excellent entry area if things remain the same. I still can't get over that puke yesterday, Albert. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, my God. 
and I was relentless puke. Oh. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, I mean, I repeat it today, Richie, and I'm telling you, that's what I thought about. Hey, let me just wait because the market's creepy. It's not holding per se. Like, so that's what I did that because I'm like, man, I don't want to get in another craziness. No, oh, man. I, I mean, that was, that was serious stuff, folks. That was serious stuff. But again, you you know you it, this is your life. Why I'm coming down bottom Keltner channel, forty six, coming down. And there goes the rest of it. EM, <coughs> ES breaks ninety, rally from here the last time. The only thing is the nasty Nasdaq didn't come down and test the lower Keltner band. So that's kind of, that's bullish. Let's see. You got uh, AMD up five and a half bucks, and you got uh, Nvidia up the twelve eighty. Right. Now it looks good. I mean, it's you know melted a bit, but holding pretty good. Uh, may come down. That's ES eighty six fifty. You know, or so. Let's see. Maybe a repeat of eighty will be nice, but. It's just it's littered with uh, the area is just littered with uh, the gaps today. Just from the volatility. Here we go again. That 90 number just doesn't stray far from the support area or what now is <clears throat> 91, 92. There's a nice trade right there. I will be right back, guys. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, Rich will be right back. Typical rate of W. What time is it? It's 11.16. Just giving you another candle there. Let's see if this is a W pattern to go the other way. It's looking nice so far. Double bottom on the 15 here. Let's see, that's enough. Needs to break, of course, order block here at 93. Remember, it was filling this area up where its gap was. We took it off. It's a big area here. Filled it in really nicely. If you see the area there, now mm -hmm. it's uh, looking like it's done with that to go another place. So it's looking a break of 93, definitely 96. will be uh, looking like target. And if you look at EMAs, guys, look perfectly off of that. Push down on all three off of that. Wham right into it. Let me mute Richie. The dips are tighter. Oh, there he is. The dips are tighter. They're giving you scalp trades. That's what I get at this point. Remember, guys, we spoke about this morning that your volatility was going to kind of do this at first, way high. Then it's going to skinny down a little bit, which is the middle of the day, right? Skinny down. And then this afternoon again, expiration, you're going to do this again, volatility, meaning that exactly what Richie's saying. Um, you know, it's uh, getting tighter, middle of the day. Then at the end, expect some big stretches, man, because they got to decide today. They're trying to see where this market lands. You got to bounce because people got other shorts. They'll, they'll put it back to play, though. They're not, you know, they're not just going to die here. Whichever way. Oh, man. Oh, <clears throat> man. 
<clears throat> so push down w didn't work and you can they caught the longs i don't know why is he at a bottom wants to repeat here yeah larry rich is 80 86 50 85 and 83 are three gaps on that area there bottom keltner channel 95 on the es on the nq excuse me same thing ym is in the same position being pushed down and so it looks like it wants the lows maybe if it makes a higher low on a bigger time frame or something but that's us getting pushed everything is and long nasdaq at 96 it was long two i just saw one out up two handles i don't i don't you know, you're at an inflection point in the market. Yeah. I'm not, I'm just going to. There right. it is. There it is. Four handles. I'll take that. That's yeah. six, six handles quick. Six. And that's the bottom Keltner channel. Toddy. I'm watching it. Like the bottom Keltner channel right there. We ain't watching it, Todd. It's gone. <laughs> Here you go, folks. It's gone. There you go. Up $950 messing around here. Awesome. Sweet. That's great, man. Messing around. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Messing around. Haven't gotten in trouble so far. I don't intend to. Gas money, food, food money, rent money, gas money. Okay. I know you're saying, whoa, it doesn't eight hundred and fifty nine hundred dollars. I mean, I don't you know, you don't have to make nine hundred dollars. Some of you want to make two or three hundred dollars. Think about it. You could have been gone already. Any of the trades we've taken earlier in the day, you could have been gone. That's it. You could already went to grocery shopping. Bottom again. <clears throat> the trade here. Maybe. Yeah, trying to hit a little gap in the NASDAQ there. Looks like 6825 is the center of it. YM, right? Hanging tough on the bottom counter channel. Long one NASDAQ contract, 90 and three quarters. I just took that off. I tried to take it off up five handles and missed it. So I took it off now. Getting a little spooky. Yeah. Looking like a once bottom, you know. Yeah, yeah, no. A little further. I took that off because I don't really want to start adding contracts here in case I'm wrong. And I'm not, I, I just don't want to. I don't want to get involved in the scene on a Friday. YM coming off the bottom count and acting better. Could be another leg down here. They break this area. It'll go south. YM is acting better. ES is toughening up. Let's see.
Yeah, we we'll definitely try to wait for um, this wicking here. And I'll see. Long Nasdaq 88.50. It's acting a little funny, Nasdaq, all of a sudden. Ugh. Yeah. <clears throat> Moving up. Nasdaq acting funny. Four handles. See ya. Yep. Nice. nice. Nice trade. Yeah, nice, man. Nice trade. 8850, 9275. Right again. Low here. Again, right off the right, you know, right off the boundaries, right off the bottom. Right off the lower Keltner channel there, Todd. Again. Again. Here it is again. It just spooks me a little bit because it's not really, there's not really a big follow through. So, you know, the ES seems to be stuck in this area. Tried to get through 90 on that little run. It didn't do it. I'm not going to the well again. Oh, and there it is. Give you another trade right there. Now the nasty Nasdaq says, okay, I'm ready to go up. YM, moving towards the middle Keltner channel. Rested very nice. Gave you a nice bottom right there. Yeah. Very nice bottom. 28 area. I want this bottom to get taken out on ES down here, but it may I'm not, that might be it. It may be it. It's got yeah. it. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's tone it that. Up. Yeah. The tone, the market is, has really got back its equilibrium, if you will. NASDAQ, uh, excuse me, YM, <clears throat> Keltner Channel, right up against it now, 53. 50, oh. oh, there it goes. Right through that. Here goes a nasty NASDAQ. There goes the ES. I mean, I love it. I love it. There's four trades they gave you, Todd, off that bottom Keltner. Four. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Four trades. I didn't take four trades, but it's okay. I'm happy with uh, two or three that I took. Yeah, man. 100 bucks, 150 bucks, blah, blah, blah. Now, here we let's see how the market looks at this 91.92. Another fictitious number that, uh, you know, throw a dart at the uh, financials, at the Barron's financials or the Wall Street Journal financial. Throw the dart wherever it is. That's the number. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, man, it's pushing through. Looking like it. YM is the star right here. 64. Uh -huh. Time is it? Oh, 11.30. Maybe I could hear a candle. Kind of a weird spot, but. Listen, am I crazy, but the, the Europe is, uh, I, don't know. I don't know. They're still going by our time frame. Well, they're not going by our time frame because their markets are closing, you know, an hour different. So, <clears throat> well, I am stalling a little bit. And Q's stalling a little bit. And this is all around a 91, 92 area on the ES contract. Yeah. Pushing, baby. Little ahead of themselves relative to the way the, the ES is acting this year, uh, 91, 92. Little ahead of themselves. 
Let's see. Oh, here we go. Looks like they're ready to break through here. Let's see. Looks like they're ready to break through. I think they want to break through. It looks like they're ready to break through. Looks good. Yeah, YM above establishing itself above the middle counter. Mm -hmm. ES establishing itself above 91. And Q. Let's see. And Q. And Q. Pugin. What? And coincidentally, <clears throat> bounces off, bounces below, or turns down from 92 and a quarter to 91. YM is ha hanging tough. No, it's too dangerous here to take a long, yeah. but that's what I'm thinking. YM is impressive, holding like a rock. It's all about the uh, ES contract here, folks, right now. Yeah, man. Miami is hanging tough. Yeah, it's hanging tough, man. It kind of looks like it wants to push up. Long Nasdaq, 95 and a quarter. Oh. Go. Come on, go. Go. I am below the middle Kelton channel. There you go. I, I do know I'll be adding if if it gets down to the lower Keltner channel. That I know. I tried to offer this up three and a half handles and missed it, just so you know. Oh. O2. <clears throat> O2, middle, 82, uh, I should say. There we go. Let's see if we get a bounce here. <clears throat> I added at 82, 81. My long is 88. Long two, one CDES go through 90 again. YM is not helping. There you go. Out on one, out on the other. Good job. Thank you. You know, I'm pulling the trigger early on these things, I will tell you, on purpose. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm telling you, I'm not, uh, I'm doing my best not to be involved in any scenes. You know, I was able to buy that, the entry level at, uh, at an, an initial trade was 95 and a quarter, okay? Uh, the ad was at 81 and three quarters, which was uh, exactly where I told you. And I know I'm going to manage that like that before I did it. If in case I was wrong. My wife is on the way to the hospital. Is she okay? No, my father in law is, you know, back yeah. in. Oh, okay. You know, that's the way this goes now. Yeah, man. Just the way it goes. But I tell you, he's he's a walking miracle, this guy. I'm not kidding. He's a walking miracle. Wow. It's amazing that he's, uh, you know, you know, from one illness to another illness, from one drug to another drug, address wow. one problem, and then there's the other one. It affects the other problem. You know, it's just. But he's man, I'm telling you. My oldest daughter FaceTimed him yesterday. My son FaceTimed him. Grandpa, how you doing? He said, Good. <laughs> wow. I mean, oh. such a uh, you know great relationship. So wonderful. There's nothing That's like nice. it. Yeah. Really nothing like it. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Here we go again. 88, ES, YM. Who knows? YM is acting a little better. It's probably a lawn of YM right here. Keltner again, a NQ right on the bottom of the Keltner channel. Right on it. I'm not going to the well again. Not yet. That could change quickly. They break this 88 area on the ES contract. Oh, hello. YM, bottom Keltner channel. Long NASDAQ, 70 and a half. YM. Uh, I will not add to this position until it's a major puke if it happens. Right. <clears throat> I'm green. Nice. Three handles, see ya. Yep, three handles, exactly three handles. I'm so happy they fixed that problem yesterday, Todd. Oh my God. Oh man, that that's got to give you some relief mentally about that because yeah. I, I just was like, okay, explain to me what's going on. Then I just couldn't, yeah, couldn't wrap my hand around it, my head around it, man. I was like, there's there's a reason this is going on, and they need they need to tell you. Amazing, and they figured it out. As simple as the band was too narrow and yep. wasn't short. Amazing. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. YM, probably a long here, YM, 24, 23. Okay. The rest of the market's acting better. Here's the nasty NASDAQ. YM comes down to the resting on a lower Keltner channel, three minute bar chart, 17, 18 area. 
I mean, they're just waiting to put money to work as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's what I see. Eleven forty-one. Time goes fast when you're having a good time. Yeah, ma'am. This thing is so muted; it's crazy. Yep. We got to bounce here, man. Maybe it's, hey, let's go. Let's see. It's kind of holding here, man. Yeah. <clears throat> My God. And YM is the one to buy here, to me. I'm not doing it because I'm not prepared to take any huge position in YM. But if you if you're looking to pay commissions, that would be an area to scalp ten or fifteen handles on a couple of contracts, even if you do micros or whatever the hell the equivalent is to a micro in YM. I don't I don't even know. Fifty cents. Fifty cents. <laughs> I can't. I don't have the patience for that, man. I am <laughs> no way. Fifty oh, seconds, right? Yeah. NQ doing better here without the ES, without the ES going up. Looking good. YM would be nice at even 200. It gives your, you know, still can bump down to two, you know, 50 below that, but at least a solid 200 would be nice. There we go. Yeah. So now, yeah. Yep. 200 and then. Again. Here we go again. Here we go again. And guys, wait for evidence. Here's 1143. Wait for evidence of 45, hopefully push it to 200 evidence same kind of evidence we did had in the past same deal don't try to <clears throat> there you go push down 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 and don't forget 81 yeah is a support area and 76 below that it's not major but they are support areas and they all bunch together fairly, fairly close. Yeah. And Q down below the lower Keltner channel, 70. It bounces every freaking time already. If the ES contract firms up, you're going to get another trade from the bottom. But I see. All right, let's see who gets some evidence in the push here. T1144. Let's see a little W set up and go. Pushing nice now. Forty-five coming. Very forty-five. New candle. W set up. Let's see. 85 last in the ES contract. I'll draw it out a little bit, kind of like this, guys. If you, if it works out, first leg, second leg, pushing up, push down, and then up again. So let's see, guys. Let's see if we get a W. YM getting a bid on the bottom. Yeah, you're right at gap on NQ. Beautiful. NQ2 would be nice little W here. If it, let's see. Really needs to go. Hopefully like this. Four handles on that trade. Four. <clears throat> Good job, buddy. Good yeah. job. <clears throat> you thank you. Why am I on a bottom? I don't know what's up with YM. Probably buy a runner here and just hold it. Push down NASDAQ, YM. See if it does the bottom here, guys, and then it could. 
but it did fall quite good before. I could do a higher low to go. Uh, either YM could be a, a trap. I mean, I don't know. This is one that pays to know uh, the technical areas, okay? Because the, the technical areas, like a YM, it's good to know what they are uh, because you have borders and, and you get a, a feel for what the technicals are saying. Here we are again at a bottom, N2, bottom Keltner. You can make a living off of this. Okay, just broke it. It's right on it again. 65 and three quarters. 60. Yep. All right, guys, let's see. What we get some evidence of the W or something. It's looking nice. It ain't looking bad, man. YM pushed up a little bit, came back down. Oh, oh all righty then. Yeah, yeah. We got to have evidence, guys. Not yet. We don't need some circumstantial evidence, Toddy. We need hardcore evidence. Hard, hard, uh, hard core evidence. All right, so there you go. That closes down downstairs. Nasdaq's heading to the bottom. 81, folks, the uh, support area. I, I like the setup, man. Down to the bottom again, and then we'll see. Here's even on. Why him? Beautiful. See that EMA play freaking short from up there, man? <clears throat> You're going to get a bounce back to that 200. I'm going to tell you that right now. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I, I think so, too. Then I'm not going to leave it down here. 81. Let's see. <clears throat> Push down there to the bottom. Might as well go. You, you long, Nasdaq? No, no, no. Not yet. I, I am. I'm going to wait to well, noon is coming, but I think you're going to get a 15 set up. It wasn't this one, obviously. So. I think at noon you're going to get a set up. 81 which is europe tail type of deal you know set up europe tail maybe they start heading out and ym puking that's the way it's setting up man broken at 80 level 81 level let's see what happens here you go 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 bottom 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 out baby bottom out Come on, go to the bottom, man. Might as well. Let's see the W sets up now again here. Mm -hmm. Europe, uh, it is 1150, though. It's kind of a creepy area. Hey, they may not wait, guys. Any W down here set up, look, it's looking like it's pushing very nice. Again, remember it did that last time. Look at it. Things are changing. See what I'm saying, guys? Yeah. Things are changing. One a W. May not wait. May do it now, but I'd like to see it I am ten minutes away. Why am bouncing? Yeah. All right, come down. Wait till twelve o'clock, man. It'll be nicer. They're just saving money here, okay? This is this the, the 
don't pay any attention to this, to this action. I mean, pay attention. You know what I mean? Don't pay any attention to, to this. Don't let it affect your decision-making process. They just moved away. They're saving money. It's bullish. <clears throat> yeah definitely strong like bull yeah it's price very nice i'm telling you it's looking like it wants to go yeah uh let me see again i just want some evidence i want to see it why yeah. pattern or something why I'm uh, hanging out at the bottom Keltner channel, stiffening up right there. Why am is the thing to be long here? I think. I think. You guys, you're getting evidence. Evidence again is going to go up. Breaks his middle leg. Gone. There goes NQ. It's 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 you know, it's getting set up, guys. Probably a twelve o'clock play. You got a twelve o'clock play coming. I know we end at twelve. But Look at this creepiness. Oh, yep. Yep. Draw down, make a W, baby, if you're going to do that. 53. It may take a minute here to do it. May not. Enough. The YM is spooky. 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 Spooky and creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Spooky and creepy. Spooky and creepy. Think it out, guys. 12 o'clock setup will be cool if it double bottoms here, man. That may be it there, man. Come on, wait till 12. Oh, here we go. Wait till 12. There you go. Come down. Got five minutes, guys. So jobble around it up here for a minute here. There you go. Don't go yet. 60, bottom Keltner channel, 60. And that's exactly where it went on the last bar, on a three-minute bar chart, wick down to 60. You got to wait till noon. You're up tail. YM broke below the middle, the lower Keltner channel. I mean, this YM is, I don't know what the YM is. There you go. Taking his time, man. Five minutes. Yeah, calm down. YM puking, 81 area, ES again. Mm -hmm. Morning came down to what, 60s downstairs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 70s. Right on the middle, Keltner, the lower Keltner channel right now, 98. Theater wants to go. Don't tell me he's going to go right before 12. You know, you're right. I was waiting for another. Two. Oh. Oh, I was waiting for another two handles. 81. Technical area. Held up. It still, it still, can, it still can get hit. I'm waiting. 
it's still yeah it's still not ready it, it's gonna wait for that candle i think 12 o'clock candles gonna push you're up tail and it could be a big push man again another 100 handles up oh i like that i am nasdaq and that's how it looks like it wants to go man Coming down again. Here we go. We'll see. Why well, am not participating? <clears throat> yeah, it's on hold right now. Wait till 12, man. Don't do that. Yeah, I am acting better. There you go. Push down. Wait till 12. Oh, my God. I think it's going to go easy. Look at the NASDAQ. <clears throat> you see it, man. It did not wait 57. You got to wait three minutes. Come back down. Darn it. Criminals. Come back down, man. Hit that order block and come down. Hit that order block. Come down. <clears throat> there you go. Wait till noon. Noon may be it, man. Look at why I'm coming down. Hot. Hot. Go why I am. Trying to beat the bottom. It's a double bottom, double bottom. Like triple bottom because you'll be at a, a, a bottom from at 10. Bottom here at 12 to new 15 again. It may be good. Look at that 15 candle may push up just like the one at 10 o'clock. See, the one minute goes down, but the 15 stays pretty much at even. So may have a, a, a push up here at 12. Two minutes, one minute, minute 10. You see, start to, to see the draw up on the 15. You may get a big push again, guys. <clears throat> Come on, one minute. I'm going to start on the NASDAQ at 63. I got one at 63. May push down again. I'll double down on it, but I don't want to miss it. Yep, I absolutely had my finger on the mouse when you said <laughs> I'm going to start at 63. If it takes off from here, I'll have one in, but I wanted more. But let's see. Still got noon coming up here. 20 seconds. <clears throat> That's who I am. Let me look to NASDAQ here. I can get out already, but. That's my job, not yours. No, Rich, you do very well. Are you kidding me? You you scout the heck out of this, and it sometimes it's the, it is money in the bank. And you're going to Nasdaq to do this higher low to go here at twelve. Let's go, boom, double bottom. Let's see if we get a retracement in. Wiki, Mister Wiki, showing up to go the other way. I will add to this if it gets lower. I knew it was probably going to go a little lower, but I don't want to miss it. Let's see. Come on, go. Look, retracement. Look at Mr. Wiki on the 15. Double bottom. Go, man. <clears throat> it can go down a minute. Let's see. <clears throat> Come on. Here we go. Come on. Only five down. <clears throat> Come on. Wake up, baby. Nothing to see down here. Of course, your break of 74. Probably take it back up to even, guys. 81 bid. Let's go. 
why well, am acting a little stubborn in this area yeah go man there you go go that's a retracement on the 15 here we go let's see come on we need to break a 73 nq there you go yes get up there go man i'll take six handles i'm already hold on nathan i'm already chasing it just in case yeah nathan absolutely nathan is about to kill me and i'm in the trade for real you're fine <laughs> Oh no, don't come down and get me out. Go. Criminal. Oh. Wall. I took six handles, man. Go, man. Go. 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 KO, KO, baby. There it is, Richie. Dude, this is it. 12 o'clock. Go. W. Dude, I'm keeping this one low. I'm gonna keep it down here at, at below at, at six at 56 is my stop. My entries at 63. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I've been long YM, by the way. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm going to filter oh. it out. Nathan, don't kill me. All right, no problem. He's going to kill me. Kato, leave him leave alone, Kato. He's hot, Kato. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. You're going to break the freaking chair. <laughs> False. <laughs> you should just buy a new one and then put it together. Spend three hours doing it. <laughs> they don't assemble it for you. Assemble it. He said, yeah. you know what? You would do it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. Lord. Hey, big boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Look, daddy, and I'm on a trade. I don't even know what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> big boy. Okay. Oh. Did they get their same yeah, and crumble cake? Yeah. Oh God. I'm, oh. <laughs> Kid's gonna blow me up. Oh. <sighs> We're still in it to win it. I'm in a 63, man. Let's go. Go, 63. Go, man. Criminals. Come on, ES. Go, ES. Go. Go. This freaking YM, what a dog. Dog. I had 10 handles. Go, it goes, it's going, man. Go, I had man. 10 handles, and I didn't take it. Come on, ES. Come on. Oh, come on. 83 last ES contract. Go, baby. Go, 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 go. Three, four. I'm in it to win it, man. Go. Go, man. Go. Go, man. Go, man. Go until you make me cry. Oh, come on. All right, may come now and clear some stuff, but I think it's, it's setting up. This YM is the biggest dog on the planet. Dog. It's the biggest dog on the planet. <laughs> it's a Georgia dog. All right, let's go, man. Oh, my God. I'm still in it, 63. I could have gotten out. Well, I'm, uh, yeah, let's see. 80, 50 again. Go. Nothing to see down here. Go. Europe, get the heck out. Tail it, baby. Go, man. Criminals. Oh boy. You're talking. You're right on that. Criminals. Criminals. I saw I may give you another leg at 1215. It could do 1230. I mean, it could last for a minute down here, guys. I reloaded at 61 and three quarters. Yeah, I could have reloaded, gotten out and reloaded. I just don't want to miss the trade. Yeah. So it's kind of like two two different ways to kind of look at things, guys. It could go to 12.15 now, trade. W will, will just push it over. So I don't want to see, man. Support here. Here we go. NASDAQ. That starts breaking down. That's a different story, guys. 
<clears throat> Go, man. Criminals. Now that YM starts taking off, it's over. Like you said, YM needs to go. YM needs to go. It's holding back the whole market, actually. Yeah. Everything's kind of creepy. Oh, 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 don't do that, YM. YM may go to the bottom down there. Keep 12.15 set up. I'm still in him, and I'm green. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hold it down. If it breaks down, I'm gonna get out. But still green for the day. I'm not too worried about. I think you're gonna get a bounce here somewhere. This area here. All about the ES contract now. Let me see ES. We're what eighty. Got to go through 80. I like to see it get back to 81, 82 area. Then we'll be off to the races. NQ should follow here. All right. Thank you. Going. Go, go, go. W shifted a little bit. You see what we're looking at? <clears throat> go, man. Go, man. Damn. Come on. Stop this. go still not a big deal come on bottom Keltner channel toddy yep approaching not there yet 52 and a half that's what I'll be adding yeah, I'll be adding 20 below, 63, 53, 43, but, you know, if it gets down there. But let me see NQ. That 20 seems to work very nice, Richie. Then yeah. I'll be halfway of that. That's so I'm not worried about it. I think you're way extended here. Um, so you're extended this far. The range has been... 75 75 150 handles or so 200 handles on nq it could extend a little more but 1215 deal now looking at 09 consolidation down here i like to have two in because then you can play with it I just have to careful It gets in a little lower. I can have two. Then you can play with it. You know, leave one in, play with it, bring your average down, whatever, go back and forth. And... All right. Here we go. 55. Okay. We're still 10 down only. Yeah. Oh, yes, and Dow. Look at them. Look at the Dow. Come on, yes. 52. Come on, Dow. Got to see evidence of all of them going. Oh, there it goes. Push up again. Dow's reaching the bottoms down here, man. So if Dow starts to go, let me add an alert. So I got to look at this. If Dow starts to go, it's a little more. Come on, 12, 12, 15. Let's go. I could have got out of that trade, guys. Just keep in mind, I'm just holding, okay? So if you did that, you're good. You got it in 10. Here we go. Push. Waiting for this thing to start pushing the other way and bigger play. I added on that lower count, now. Good job, buddy. I'm out. Yes. Yes, Richie. Good job, brother. You are doing very well doing that. Oh, reload. Come on. Pay you one away. Page went away on me. He put one NQ up here. So there we go. Push down to a 15 deal. All right. Where am I? Where am I? I'm at. Oh, man. I could have added there 43. 
Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I added one there, 43. Push up, I'll let it go and then re uh, reevaluate. Bottom 12, 11. It's no help from the YM, that's the problem. Yeah. All right, long one here, 43 and three quarters. All right, there you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. That's good. Come on, push up. Push up, push up, push up. Let me see where we're sold just yet. Not yet. Still can push down a little more, man. Match the bottom. Okay, I let go of the one. I'm at 44.25 now. I let go 43 to 48 to 48.75, 48.50. Better my price a little bit there. Still down, but it's really nothing, man. I'm, I'm green for the day. I'm want, wanting to get this trade. Push it down more. I'll add one more time and see. We get a push down here, man. <laughs> Come on, push. Maybe new low. Volume coming up. 76, don't forget. 76 is support. <clears throat> yeah. 12, 13, two more minutes. They'll be transferred down to here, of course. Let me make this bigger so you guys see what I'm looking at. ES. That's what I want to see now. <clears throat> Stubble bottom this thing. Let's go, man. Stop playing. Jeez. There you go. Come on. I added one. My price is 42. That 200 EMA short. Freaking crazy, Richie. Look at that. Oh, no. Right back to the bottom, man. On all three, too, man. That's freaking crazy. Beautiful. But you should get bounces now, man. It's way far from that. It should trickle up there again. Possibly a run. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's go, baby. There you go. Come on. What time is it? One more minute. And now we're to 12.30, guys. Here we go. Come on. It will change pretty rapidly, guys. You'll definitely be able to tell that they're, they're grabbing it. 51.75 here. Yes. Very nice. Go, yes. Go. Go. We're at 1215. All right, let's see what this candle does. 15, new 15 coming up, baby. Go. Go. There you go. Let's go. Stop playing. Europe, get the heck out of the way. Go. Go, man. <clears throat> we'll see evidence of it, guys. It, it, it will give you people come in and stuff. Dow looking good. Do some alerts. So I start alerting me when it goes up. That's that here. Mr. Dow, I think I have one already. Yeah. 
Let's see. I'm out. I sold it in a green. Not a lot, but I don't know. A little spooky here. Why am I? Yeah. I'm still I'm long. expecting a bounce. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting a bounce, but look, 12.15 didn't work. Work way too freaking 12:30. That's all I got. So so you can do. I'm still and I'm still good, man. It's not bad. A couple hundred bucks. Yeah. It's you need help from the YM. Yeah. That's what the market needs here. I'm in at 44.25, here's 34. Added one at 24. Here we go. Freaking bot, dude. If that's at the bottom, jump out. You're going to do 18,000. I think Todd was saying something like that. Oh, uh, man. You know, before. I better my price again here when it pushes up. Yep. I'm long at 25. Good job, Ricky. I want to push up. Push up. Okay, now I'm in at 24.25. Still down a couple hundred bucks. All right for the trade but i think i think you're gonna get a push here somewhere oh see you my trade went away Wait. criminals what you doing man and the trade td ameritrade goes dead jeez all right now or never baby go <laughs> when you do have a turnaround it's going to be a good next one I said I want to short down here, guys. That's what you see me. Hey, I'm going to go along. There it goes. I'm going to go along, and I'm not going to, you know, I'll mess this up. But I think it's, I think you're going to get a big run to, from down here, man. Europe exiting. I'm in it, guys. 24. There, there's your turnaround right there. Go. What time is it? 19. You're gonna put the heck out, man. Good, good bid. Get the heck out, dude. <clears throat> you can wait till 1230. You're up exit exactly. You see, I was trying to get the 11, 11, 15, but I, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in a good set. I mean, I'm positive right now. Just chilling out. Penny's 12, 19. We're 19 over, Richie Cheese. Yeah, I know. Come on, YM. Go. I'm still long, YM. Okay. Yeah, it's going to go. Here we go, guys. You're seeing it, man. Go. Stop playing. You're beat up enough. There you go. Go. Man, that's a good trade. Come on, go. I'm at 24. I wish I would have had that second one in. It may push down again, guys. And then re grab. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna flat here. I'm gonna re grab downstairs. Richie. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm flat, flat. at 40, 24 to 40. That's not bad. But that's beautiful. But the fact that you added when you added and managed the position, that's the whole deal. Yeah, buddy. There it goes, man. Sometimes when you get out of it, it's when it starts to freaking take off on the NASDAQ. Need a pull back higher low. Oh my god, there it is, buddy. My alerts. 
and NASDAQ from 22 up to 47. Nice. That's why I don't like to let it go. I just like to keep it. That's why I like two, Todd, because you get two, you can let go of one and keep one. Right. But when you're single, it I don't like it. There it goes. It comes back. I'm grabbing right. it. I think this they has this has a few legs, man. Come on, YM, please. What do I buy this thing for? Are you long, Richie? I'm long YM, yeah, 80. I'm not getting involved in any scenes, but I'm stuck 22 handles. Should have reacted and it didn't, so. It's going, dude, it's gonna get you. Just got in in Q44 again. Kind of like it's kind of like the top there, but I don't want to miss a push. I think you're going to get a big push again, middle of the day type of play. Yeah, Richie's going, it's going your way, man. Come on, YM, just go get me out of this. I need to prepare for my oh, god, that's right. Oh, yeah, it's 1223. I got time. Oh. Yeah, Richie, you gotta go, man. Oh, I got plenty of time. Uh, it's not much. There's not really much to prepare for. I have a number of questions. They're easy questions. I don't have to study, you know. Yeah. I don't have to study for any question. Yeah, you, <laughs> it's, in, it's in it's in you, buddy. Thousands of hours. Thousands of hours, man. Thousands. Oh. I hate this headset, man. I've never used a headset before. Can you uh, get a big push, man? I, th I think you're fine, Richie, for the long term here. May take a you know swipe down and then go back up, but I think you're good. Yeah. Well. Made the real W here. Try to get out of Europe. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Go. There it is, Richie. Come on. 50%. Right to a middle counter channel. NQ right up against it. Oh, backed off. Man, what in the hell was that? getting people out and stuff Europe's getting out man so you're gonna have you're gonna have like the, the probably shorts getting out they better get out here that's why I think it's gonna be a push they better get out here if they take a chance option expiration they can't come back that's why I think there's gonna be a push big push at that Richie I think you're I one. There it goes, man. There you go. Right to him. Go, Nasdaq. Go. Look at it. Just look at that. Yeah. Go, man. Go. 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 Go, man. It's trying to. <clears throat> Come on, YM, just please get me out of this crap. What a piece of crap. It's going, buddy, it's going. Turned on higher low deal. When NASDAQ pushing up, ES pushing up good here. Come on, bounce. Let's go.
I hear low. Let's go, man. Broke middle there. Testing W. Go. <clears throat> Dang, YM crap. YM's going to mess things up. Yeah, it is. Messing me up. Uh, another two, a uh, couple minutes, four minutes. Go, man. Europe, you got to get out. That's what I mean. They got to get out, right? So I'm thinking they got to get out short. It's going to alleviate this market. They shorted the hell out of this again. It's going to alleviate this market for a minute. Maybe 200 VMA play again. Coming back up here, meeting it somewhere. Let me see why I am. Why I'm getting a little bid. Why I'm goes over. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Nice double bottom here, man. Let's go. You're up two minutes, man. You got to get out of your trades. You're up. Come on, ES. Still holding, baby. There you go. Nothing to see down here, guys. Go. Go. Wham, go. Got a minute, 45 seconds. <clears throat> As that key is looking nice. Why am a little bounce, right? Why am going up to the top, counting the channel? It's 42. That needs to get through that first. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Go, why am waiting on you? There you go. You're up exiting now. Okay, get the heck out. Let's go, man. Double bottom. Let's go. Stop playing around. Oh, my God. We're waiting on YM, like you said, Richie. Yeah, and ES established above 76. Mm -hmm. Yeah, middle, yeah. <sighs> Waking hard, but bunch of dojis so let's go let's go oh yeah oh, come on we're going to see an explosion on the way up richie man i'm telling you man that's what i'm, I'm feeling with you. i'm feeling it man i see it i hear it see all those big explosions that are getting the heck out you know it takes three minutes or so like you said look at it dude go man Waiting on YM, but it's getting a leg. YM's getting a leg, man. Go, man. You got nothing down here to price. You took it all. Go, man. Go. There's nothing down here. Go. Me and my soprano voice. Yeah. Yeah. Is gonna break. Here we go. Go, Nasdaq. Go, YM. To the moon. Let's go, man. Go, yes. Explode to the top. To the top, yes. I'm taking two off there. Break even. Break even 46.25 now. Go. Hold on, let me answer this. Hey, he's riding the motorcycle. There it goes. Uh, we're still on, okay? I'll call you later. Okay, bye. Go. Yes. Guys, it takes a minute, but let me tell you this. LPQ all the way, baby. Look at it. Look at it. Yes. 
Goal! Sound like a freaking rooster. I don't know what you sound like. <laughs> go. Yes. Go, 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 man. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Nobody's beating us, man. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody freaking beating us. Man, I'm, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, my God. Richie, man, you got you to get a pullback. I'm out of my trade, guys. I'm out of I'm out of my YM. I lost a little money. I don't care. I don't yeah, care. I was pulled back, but it should go. Oh, okay, you're out. I'm out. Man, that's I'm telling you. Wait, we waited a minute. That's fine. But hey, LPQ, baby. That's all no, I gotta say. I'm telling you. You can navigate this market, folks. He saw it coming. He felt it. He's been hot all day to man. Congratulations. That's a wonderful way to go. Absolutely, man. Oh, man. That's you guys, you guys too, man. We do it together, man. We have learned a lot from you, Richie, man. Todd, we so much everybody. Todd, you, you, you well. You've been, you've been great it. today. Great. Tito, welcome. Tito, how'd you like that today? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, man. Anyways, guys, have a good day, guys. All right. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to prepare, but I'll be back later, folks. Yeah. Uh, Albert, all right. Todd, yep. I'm have gonna, a great weekend. I'm going to make a call at a at yeah, have a good weekend three, at three forty-five and see what kind of imbalance there are. Okay. You know, anyway, but I'll be back. I'll let you guys know when I'm back. And I'll okay. Be all right, guys. We'll see you later. Have a good weekend. Okay. Take care. Uh, LPQ, baby. Albert, ten eleven, uh, uh, YouTube live, ten to eleven on twenty-first Thursday. Okay, I'll work on it. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll let you know when I'm back. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy, Enjoy Tito.